<clears throat> we are live. Let's get this party started. Yeah, Carl Winslow. Whoa, now. That's correct. Welcome back to another episode of this Chrono Trigger playthrough. We just did the whole bit with uh, restoring the forest here. It's all better now. We got Robo back. We also got our green dream item. The accessory. It, uh, it revives you once per battle or something. I forget. Yeah, one time. Well, one time auto reanimate. So if your car breaks down, it'll help one time. We're going to head off to Mount Woe here shortly. And we're going to get a whole bunch of TP points. Let's, uh, let's get my endgame party back in here. There we go. So how's it going, Carl Winslow? Too many alts? You should stream. Uh, Mother Cognitive Dissident. I've actually streamed Mother Cognitive Dissidents, but I could maybe play that again. Uh, that game was actually really, it was a really good fan game. Nest Force, thank you for the lard, speedy butt lard chrono emoji. T-Roy, thank you for the bust lard, how are you, and the speedy. Anthony Jordan, thank you for remembering the speedy bust lard lightning cactus beard chocobo emoji. Sly Cooper, welcome back. Thought it was broken. No, we are we are not broken currently. How you doing, JPA? Hey. Lean Phoenix, what's happening? Just checking in. Won't be here for long. Hey, thanks for popping in for a moment at least. Gonna be doing another full Chrono Trigger episode tonight. I don't really plan on I don't know when I'm gonna get back to rebirth. I need spare time to like play it off screen for a bit. I guess we should just go ahead and go back to the Dark Ages. I don't believe there's anything else that I want to do. Uh, there might be stuff that I can do. Uh, but I think this is all I want, so let's just go back to the Dark Ages. 360 dips, yes. This is actually not my real hair. A little inside baseball for you. So let's go here. Terra Cave, where the Earthbound ones reside. Can we have another video game reference? At least, you know, Terra's, you know, Square character. This is all Getty. Oh, it's all Getty. The Village of the Earthbound one. I thought it was Terra Cave. The Village of the Earthbound ones. We Earthbound ones lack magical powers. That's why we were banished from Zeal. Want to buy something? Maybe. What do you got? Hey, right, here's all the equipment. Ooh, Mega Blast. That's my favorite variety of blast. I'll buy that for Luca. And a Megaton Arm. That's my favorite variety of a ton arm. We'll get that for Robo. There's actually kind of not a lot of point of getting this stuff, because in the next dungeon, I'm pretty sure that you can steal better weapons and armor. Maybe not armor, but better weapons for everybody, I think. So I think I'll hold off on all of that. We're good as far as this other stuff goes. Yeah, we're fine. Comment on a short that says, I will ship you to the Netherlands. Who's shipping who to the Netherlands? Oh, Atari DC. Grandia HD collection. That's good to know. Dropped on PS5 and Xbox just to give you all a heads up. Oh, Cosmos is off of Xenosaga. The fact that you're taking breaks from Rebirth. Yeah, by itself tells me everything I need to know about the game. <laughs> yeah, I have been watching. Yeah, people ask you what my favorite games are. It's like Earthbound or Final Fantasy VII. So I'm playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and I don't know when I'll get back to it. Yeah, that kind of kind of speaks volumes, doesn't it? Queen put the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace to absorb Lavos' energy. Is that safe? Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. She locked the Guru of Life up on the Mountain of Whoa for opposing her. Yeah, the Guru of Life need to be told Whoa. Situation's hopeless. How you doing, KJ? Rainbow, welcome back. Finally here. The Guru of Life said that Sir Janus has stronger powers than even Miss Shala. Janus must be using her and the Queen to get Lavos. How frustrated would people get if I started calling Lavos, like, Lavos? I don't need. I think I would... I don't think I could even do that to you, or myself. Angela, welcome to the chat. How you doing? I wonder when Miss Shala is going to come and play with us. Only the three gurus and Miss Shala treat us as equals. 
I think the next boss thing sequence has stuff I want to steal as well. It's like a mud imp and like a black or a red and blue something. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is a great game. Spend the night, yes. Price is right, I'll spend the night. <laughs> no, I've never heard anyone dare pronounce it like that either. Long ago, the Enlightened Ones and the Earthbound Ones lived as one. Cool story. Let me down. Alright. Kid. Our hero, the Guru of Life, rejected the Queen's plan, so he's banished to the Mountain of Love. It's only through the Beast's Nest. Through the nest you reach the Place of Chains, which anchors the Mountain of Love. 9.22 a.m. for you, good lord. It's 10.22 p.m. for me. I was gonna say, I think there's a tab around here. I had known the Grania collection was coming to PlayStation Xbox Max when I got it in December. Oh, yeah. Would not have gotten it on the Switch. Hey, Carl, how you doing tonight? Yeah, Robo Helms. Those are the... Or wait, it's from these enemies, isn't it? These things. I don't know, I'll try stealing from them. Uh, Robo Helm. Not to be confused with a rainbow helm. Or a prism helm. Yeah, Robo helm. There we go. Some other game that came out called Terra Memoria that has. Oh, 2D HD style. I know nothing else at all about it. Oh, people are calling it a cozy RPG. I mean, maybe it'll be worth playing. I, I don't mind uh, having a cozy game. Yeah, the Earthbound ones. Is that a mother reference? I mean, I have to wonder. And the fact that this game and Earthbound share a capsule that you can recover yourself in, in a moment. I think that just means that they are the exact same game. When I play Chrono Trigger, I'm actually playing Earthbound and vice versa. Naruto, welcome to the chat. I didn't miss much. Now, we uh, just got started. I haven't been streaming for 10 minutes. Okay, you can respawn these enemies here if you want. Okay. I mean, I'll see what this... Try this helm on for size and see if I want to grab a ton of them. <laughs> Encounter the man-baby patriarch in Yakuza Kiwami too. That's so, like, I probably should have assumed that it was going to be the same. Oh yeah, cuts lightning by 50, that is pretty good. I forget what the rubble does, but like, I think it says that the status that it uses is lock. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's grab a couple, what difference does it make? I don't know. How you doing back? I'm from the Sandstream. Hey, welcome back. The Sonics. How you doing? Let's play a game with my friend Tails. We could play Sonic Spinball. But yeah, I have played uh, Mother Cognitive Dissonance. I thought it was a really good fan game. One of his guys, Kiryu, this isn't really my thing, but you know when the boss says wear a diaper, yeah, you wear a diaper. Yeah, like, I should have realized that these were, like, reoccurring characters. But I just assumed that it was, like, uh, like a dragon original stuff. Yeah, Dave Hackey, the Mag yeah, the Magus Tater Ship. Sounds delicious, a Tater Ship. Hey, Tornado Garden, thank you for liking the stream and my hairpiece. I agree, yeah, I seem to notice you and I have great taste in games. Yeah, I seem to know a lot of, a ton of games. Yeah, like, I was kind of surprised by, uh, Cognitive Dissonance. I like how the game just feels like it belongs somewhere between, you know, Mother 1 and Mother 2. Like, it almost, you know, how the normal Nintendo's 8-bit and the Super Nintendo was 16-bit. 
Mother Cognitive Dissonance, like, somehow feels like it's 12, but... I don't know how else to explain it. Hey, JB, how you doing? Yeah, I got some Chrono Trigger on here. We're gonna do some rubble grinding. And in the Super Nintendo version, there's, like, an exploit. Because normally when a, a rubble runs away, it's, like, gone forever. But not in the Super Nintendo version. There's one that you can exploit, and we're going to exploit them. To, at the very least, get everyone's triple techs here to maximum. No, it was the thought that counted. I mean, that's probably enough Rabo Helms. I think I'll leave the safe helm on Frog for now. Those would have been good to grab before fighting Speccio. Er, uh, not Speccio. Never mind. I was gonna say the Golem, but like, no, obviously you can't come here for the Golem. Yeah, Tater Ship. Have I ever boxed a kangaroo? No, only a bear. I wrestled a bear. I didn't box a kangaroo. That's an Australian thing. Does sound good. You must you go on the quest to get the magic tater and the withered tater mountain. Oh yeah, there are the twin golems. I forgot. And there's the boss golem too. That's why Magus is moody. I've been doing all right, JB. Last time I was here. Oh yeah, clean out Mario RPG remake. No, I'm doing well, thank you. Channel's never been better. I don't really have any complaints on my end. Here we go. Yeah, I think these have, like, maybe red vest and blue vest and the mud. Yeah, might have something, too. We're gonna try. Oh, yeah, Specchio, too, is a good place for him. Take the edge off. Damn it. Get up. Well, I do have heal. That works. No! Stop riding your red beast and your blue beast. Can we get the mud imp to kill their beasts by kicking rocks at them? I mean, you could, but... Speed tab? Alright. Ooh, mermaid cap. Need to go. Wish I could stay longer, but I need to go see all you. Alright, Carl, thanks for popping in for a moment. Hope you have yourself a good rest of the day. Ooh, an, el an elixir. One elixir. Hey, Jay, thank you for the lard. This time not stuck by my cat, eh? At least now, if you need uh, need anything, you can do it unhindered by feline uh, weight restrictions. Speedy right now, he's in, his, he's in his cat tree, having a nap. All comfy cozy, like. One speed tab, all right. The word me. I couldn't even begin to guess. Don't forget the lard. If it's not, don't forget the lard, then I don't know. Bubble pit. Feed yourself a tonic. Or mid other. Instead. I assume that's water elemental, but I don't know. Like, I mean, just because she was in water doesn't necessarily mean that the attack itself is water-based. Uh, that.
forget if I have to water the Mud Imp to lower its defense, or if it just gets lower defense once his beasts have been eliminated. I need to actually heal over here. I'd feel a little silly if I died in this battle. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be grinding on... We're gonna be grinding that rubble into... into dust. Believe you me, we're gonna be maxing out at least these three's TP. I won't worry about the rest of the party so much. This is my end game party, so I may as well deal with that now. How is that blue fella still alive? We've done like 5,000 hit points to him. Can't have much left. One bluey there is gonna be almost dead. I already did 2,000 damage to it. Apparently it's just invincible. It's an invincible blue beast. Big beautiful blue beast. A, a B B B B. No, this, this fight shouldn't really even be a, a deal. I'm just, I'm kind of surprised it's gone on this long. Uh, Cyclone. Seriously? We'll find that old Falcon hit again. Dave Hackey, thank you for the $2 super chat. Triple Tater Ship Technique. Yeah, the 3T Technique. The dreaded one. Thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate it. Yeah, Man Eater, Bantam Imp, and Gargoyle. Okay, have the new weapons. Gotcha, gotcha. I knew some enemies did. I thought it was... I thought it was the whole lot of them. But there's definitely a new weapon for Chrono. I want to say a new weapon for Frog, and maybe even... I want to say Robo, but I forget. I mean, I want to say Robo, and I still said Robo. So there. Yeah, thank you for the lard. I think you're in trouble there, Mud Imp. If that is your real name. Is your defense down now? I forget. I forget your whole deal, Imp. Might just not be too susceptible to magical damage, but is for physical, we'll see. Well, that's a little redundant. I like the way Frog is like, look at me, I'm gonna block your your hit. Why is, why is Frog, like, standing there blocking, actually? Like, I just did water, too, with him, didn't I? And then he got a rock kicked at him, and now he's like, Ah, don't do that to me again. Anyway, we did it. Edra Oda, welcome back. Oh, yeah, if you're diligent about, um... About stealing from enemies, there's actually some pretty good stuff to grab. I love how the chain just gets bigger and bigger. Like, the first chain that we walked on was, like, itty-bitty. Now the links are closer to the size they should be. Like, they should still be bigger, I think. Oh, the protect status. Oh, causing the pose defensively like that. I hadn't noticed Frog doing that yet. 
So despite the fact that this is lock, I don't think this enemy will lock us. What do I want to do with Chrono? I think I want to give him... Is it just the hit ring? No, I think I want to give Ayla the hit ring. Yeah, because they're... Her hit's already the highest. Then I think I want to give... Yeah, I want to give you the, the Zerk. Yeah, that. The frog, I think, is good with that setup, because... I don't think critical's missed, so here we go. Let's try this one for size. Oh, lock all. That would be different from lock. But yeah, these things run away pretty easily, but... You know, if you set it up right, 1,000 experience points, 100 tech points. Which is a lot of tech points. But yeah, normally these enemies don't respawn. Like, if we if we leave this whole area... ...and go back down to the itty-bitty chains and go right back up into the area... ...Rubble's not there any, anymore. So it's supposed to be, like, a one-shot deal thing. Uh, there is, like, I don't know, six or seven of them up here. But, but there's one that respawns out of pure, uh, mistake. So let's just re-equip, I don't know, just not the Berserker. This can... No, I want you to have the Charm Top back on. We gotta... Move this back and forth. Yeah, basically Metal Slimes. Basically. I think it's these things. Steal from everything anyway. That one dude too. Yeah, Mount Lard, which is my favorite mount. Yeah, Alloy Blade, that's what it is. Alloy Blade. So I think you have to be diligent, yeah. You gotta be diligent with the stealing, yeah. The stealing. I'll just take another Alloy Blade for good measure. Oh. Not that I need to, but I may as well equip it. Yeah, Metal Slime. Yeah, a bit of a contradiction. Yeah, like, at best, it, it would be like a gel-like substance. I would say. I should at least give Chrono the... Ah, uh, the gold stud. Me too. I, I don't think the Stone Imps have anything too special, but... We can check if it if it's considered a different enemy. As I've stolen from, you know, it with its wings. You can try that again next time around. Yeah, alloy blade, it'll it outclasses this demon edge I've been using for the last little while. By like a fair margin. I mean demon edge though does do more damage to magic enemies, which I mean it's still handy, but like Otherwise, no, not bad. Yeah, let's give you the gold, uh, give you ye old gold, uh, stud. Old stud, yeah. So let's try to steal from a stone imp here in a minute. Oh, just a mid, I think. I mean, that's not, it's not horrible. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's really a huge necessity for me to be grinding for money, really. So, all I'm trying to say is I don't really need more alloy blades. We might not even really have to grind. Oh, there's another rubble. Let's get him. Let's get him or her. So re equip the Berserker and, and the Hit Ring. Hits keep coming. Yeah. Console Addict, how you doing? Angel Dust, right on. 
Thanks for letting me know. Hope you're doing well, console addict. Having the Berserk also helps, because, you know, Chrono will just instantly attack. Come on, Aayla, like, give her... Give her the old what for. This one might get away, but it doesn't... terribly matter. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Ooh, Chrono with the clutch hit at the end. Yeah, I, I like grinding for the most part. Some games it's a little excessive, but usually I don't mind. Echo, how you doing? We'll be back here soon, promise. Gotta do a few things. No worries, Rainbow. I'll see you when you get back. Good luck with your tasks. How you doing, Ninja Ninja? There's another one, yeah, just right here. Well, just left here, excuse me. And Frog with the crit. Ooh, and Ayla also with the crit. Ryan Warlock, this is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, Cure 2. The Diamond Tims. Ah, I got the Mystical Stick and Mother 3. Congrats, now you're taking a pizza break. A pizza break. I think you've earned one. Congrats. Should be set up for a little bit there now. For the next boss fight, it should be helpful. But yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite games ever. On Earth. On the planet Earth. Yeah, I got a big hand, yeah. Which is also an enemy in Breath of Fire 2 for the Super Nintendo. Three mystical gloves, good god. Gotta love getting three, uh... You know, of anything, you only need one of. I mean, I guess you can sell them, but it's... It's not like they're worth a ton of money, usually. Kenya, how you doing? But yeah, it's pretty crazy getting three pairs of mystical gloves. I've never gotten one by, like, mistake. Or just by happenstance. I've always had to grind them out. I think the other weapon is for Frog. I'm pretty sure this is also the... Yeah, we're near the spot where the enemy uh, replenishes itself. The aforementioned rubble. Hey, thanks, Kenya. Glad you like the hair. It's over here, but I just want to go this way first. Yeah, t oh, 10 DP. I d I'm surprised they're that... Okay. So yeah, not even worth selling them. I mean, I get how you don't want someone to, like, sell it thinking it's, like, not good or whatever, but... You have multiples, it's not... It's not like you can fuse them together. Although I never really found money was the most... Like, I mean, yeah, you can buy stuff in Mother 3, but... I never felt, like, insanely short on money in that game. Could usually squeak by. The tax evasion guy, how you doing tonight? And Yuri Dragons, what's happening, folks? Falcon hit! Yeah, just wish I had this type of luck for the Thud Charm. I mean, now that you say that, I've, I have had good luck with Thud Charms in my deck. There is one playthrough in particular where I 
fought the hippos for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour, got four thud charms. Because I got the first one like relatively quickly, but then they just kept coming. Take me to the next area. I don't want to go there yet. Uh, but I want to fight stuff. Because I do. But yeah, fingers crossed for you. It doesn't take you a long time to get all the thud charms you want. If I remember right, you don't really want four. Like, three is plenty. Like, you can give one to Boney, but I think you have to unequip, like, his collar or something. And usually, why do that? Yeah, let's not get going too far ahead. We'll miss the rubble. We'll miss out on all the... The TP. The replenishing TP. But yeah, that falcon hit attack is lovely. Yeah, I like how when you do some of the magic, the frog bleep briefly clears up. Me too. I assume it's more like a Super Nintendo limitation thing, but I like just like the color palette of the area. Like, even without the fog and stuff. Alright, so let's go back. And show you the reoccurring rubble. Which from what I can tell is an oversight. This, this thing does not replenish in other versions of the game, as far as I'm aware. I don't know about PlayStation, but, like, I doubt it. Funny if Boney had more weapons, yeah, like a plas yeah, a pair of vampire teeth or something, yeah. I feel like they're almost making up for the Sword of Kings and Earthbound with Boney's weapon, but like, I don't know, they could have given you... Like, still give you Boney's weapon, but at the same time... Like, have another one that you can just get a 1 in 33 drop on. <laughs> Hero's already learned Luminaire, which is his best attack. These folks not too far. Well, I mean, Ayla's a little... Well, these two have ways to go, I guess. But no matter, let's get the... Berserker back on, and the, the... The hit ring, which I think was at the very top. No, not anymore. Hit ring, and we still good. But yeah, this one, if you zone out of the area and come back, it just respawns. Right, yeah. Hey, Kate, how you doing? This looks like Breath of Fire by having a stroke. Oh, I mean, they're both Super Nintendo games. I understand why you would feel that way. Hey, Zayat, how you doing? Missed the bandana. Oh, we'll have the bandana back when we're not playing Chrono Trigger. Just gotta, just gotta let my hair out for this guy. Frog's a beast. He's a, a reptile. Got a load vest and another shield. But yeah, you just pass this way, just go down this way. Let's do that. I'm right back. Rubble will be back. These enemies also come back, Billy. Well, I'm just gonna run. I mean, I might not even really need to run. Chrono might deal with it early, but, like, still. Hey, you're gonna sub? Hey, thanks, Zyde, for the sub. Appreciate it. Give a like, keep it up. I'll do my best. Thank you so much. But yeah, like, or at least have, like, a, you know, a mystical collar or something. It's just weird to me that they just didn't bother with Boney. Yeah, it keeps coming back. So yeah, this is the only one in Mount Woe that just respawns. You might be able to save and soft reset as well, but... Yeah, 
But yeah, may as well do this until we get these folks all the way uh, tech leveled up. Because like I said, I'm not really going to use the other members. Other bonus of the mystical stick is I got Kumatora leveled up. Oh, there you go. PK Fire Omega. Yeah. Made absolute bank. Yeah. And the hefty heads. Good. Yeah. Well, I mean, if nothing else, the mystical weapon grinding, you don't have to worry about all that other stuff. Gain a bunch of levels, get a bunch of money. Hey, thank you for the like. Thank you for the lard, Saint. So, like, you could probably grind tech points faster on, uh, in the Black Omen, but may as well do it now. But yeah, I gave Ayla the hit ring because she has, like, the highest attack, or a highest hit rate, I mean. I know it says the Berserker also raises hit rate. I don't know how much it raises it by. It might be better to put on her. Hit ring seems to work just fine. Hey, Agent Leprechaun. Yeah, this area used to frustrate you so much as a kid. This has probably become like one of my favorite places to grind in the game next to the prehistoric hunting grounds. Yeah, like, you could still take these enemies out, too, excuse me. If you really wanted, but I don't. I don't want it. As a matter of fact. But yeah, Agent Leprechaun, I'm just getting everyone's tech points all the way maxed up. Because there's this one reb rubble enemy here that just keeps respawning. So I just want to get all my tech abilities. There's a few more in this dungeon, but like... So once I get like a hundred away, I can probably just move, move on from here. But... We'll fight two more and then we'll move on. Yeah, I get all the triple techs, all that stuff. At least for these characters. I'm not going to worry about it with the other characters. Uh, but for these three, since they're my end game party. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you're right. For all the difference it makes. Weird, I recorded a reaction short. Or a reaction to it had 12 likes. <laughs> 12 likes and four. That is weird. 12 likes and four views. Yeah, I don't know how that would even happen. Is it still like that, Anthony? Or last you check? Yeah, I've heard about that. The, uh,. Oh, is that what the attic is about? Because, yeah, I heard that Flint was supposed to be in the game later. Ah, uh, but didn't wind up being, but... But, yeah, is that why the Jealous base is so strong? That would make sense. Okay, 4 and, nine, and 11. <laughs> Somehow lost one of those likes. I don't think I've hit this thing once yet. This one might... I think this one's gonna get off, get away on me. It's not enough. 
Barely. Let's just let's just proceed. Proceed. I'll even no 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 no. We'll use uh, we can spam Luminaire. Now that we can, it'll cost five MP. I still want the Charm Top for when we run into the other enemy. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a weapon for Frog. I think YouTube has a substance abuse pro Sometimes it does seem like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Chrono's ultimate maneuver, Luminaire. Ultima, sort of. Yeah, Violet Ninja, I'm all... I'm all about, you know, Chrono, Ayla, and Frog. Feel the unbalancing and hard, but yeah. I had to grind, yeah, stop up and pencil rockets. Yeah, jealous base is especially bad on hard mode. But yes, I uh I am. Rare Ayla tailspin usage. Conceptually, I like the idea of, a, of an attack that you need to be near the enemy, but, like, I think this game really could have benefited from, uh, at least having Ayla, like, if she had another ability to let her, like, freely move around, not freely, but, like, so you could actually position her next to an enemy to use Dino Tail. It's kind of hard to set it up. Well, let's get the hit. Keep the hits, keep on coming. Yeah, I do like that in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, how they kind of integrated, like, you know, double techs into the game. Where's the hit ring go? That's right. I heard about that. The Smash Bros. voice actor did Lucas in the fan translation of, uh, I forgot to put the Berserk thing back on. I don't think it really matters, though. Yeah, we good. I love how this rubble was just on top of a rock. Was it mating? Perhaps? Nixom Vang, how you doing? Snap, that's my game, yeah. Right here, it's been years. Oh yeah, this game's great. One of my favorites. As we continue to spam the Luminaire spell. Hey, right on, Violet Ninja. Never miss Mega Archer, Chrono Trigger, or Earthbound. Hell yeah. Me neither. In fact, I haven't missed one of my streams yet. I mean, I guess that's technically not true. Like, if I ever set a stream to go live and I just didn't go live, then, well, I guess I did miss it now, didn't I? Yeah, I heard about that, where Terry Crews was like, localized Mother 3. And Nintendo's like, nah, that's okay. We're just never going to. A okay, frog squash, there we go. Which means triple kick is just right around the bend here. All right now we gotta steal from these flower, these powerful flowers. Pretty sure it's a weapon for frog. Pearl Edge, yeah. 
Not to be confused with the Pearl spell from Final Fantasy 3. Not Final Fantasy 3, but Final Fantasy 3. For the Super Nintendo. I love how Frog, like, kind of sings when he's casting his magic. Pedro, how you doing? Benichi, what's happening? Events of Chrono Trigger are exactly... A great retelling of what happened to my friend Eric last night. Eric Andre? I knew it. Playing a game one, two times, lost the last time. Right on. I mean, two out of three ain't bad, as they say. If we're gonna equip the Pearl Edge, then... Oh, that... Yeah, 1.5 hit for magic enemies. Well, yeah, we'll equip that, and... We don't need the Hero Medal anymore. That's only for the Masamuna. So... I don't know. What should you have? I'm not sure what to give you. Maybe the Rage Ban? We have the Rage Ban. How close are you? 116. Right, right close. Uh, forget if there's another. I there was one more rubble. Uh, yes. At least that one. Let's try to smite it. That ring. Well, I mean, we're. Whatever. Frog will, will be less likely to hit, but it's okay. How you doing, Sean? Flying Squadron. This game looks like a rip-off Deltarune. This game came out, like, 25 years before Deltarune did. Some, goo some goofy shoe bill. How you doing tonight? Get some rest and listen to your stream. Sounds good, 360 dips. Enjoy yourself. This makes you want to replay Chrono Trigger again. Hey, right on. It'd be it a couple of times. Oh, like 15 years ago. Oh, right on. Oh, yeah, always worth replaying. However, are you sure? I am very sure. I couldn't be more sure. Oh, let's get that stud back on. Well, I mean, it is a time-traveling game, so, like, maybe there's some time-traveling hijinks going on. So, in Undertale, there's, like, there's an item in it called the C-T, like, S-E-A. Like, you know, like, the ocean, the sea. T, like, the drink, C-T. And it's an item in the game that it affects your, like, in-game speed. That's, like, 100% a Chrono Trigger reference. Because, like, Chrono Trigger is all, you know, its initials is CT. What am I doing? Oh, Charm Top. White Male and Rainbow Helm is kind of a redundant setup. Uh, so let's fix that. It's a little redundantly redundant. Oh, I never did give you your, uh... Put that back on you. Oh, yeah, and the mermaid cap What's, cuts water hits. Well, how about we'll just give you the mermaid cap and then... Say shira shira. I have a pet hedgehog. Is his name Sonic? Or her? So OCD about choosing my party and the alternate endings. Oh, yeah. I mean, I pretty well just settle with this party once I get it, and I'm good to go. Oh yeah, the boss, <laughs> boss here does shadow and fire damage on anyway. So I have everything protected except what the boss does. Perfect. I mean, I know I have the red mail and stuff. But... There we go. Character in Stardew Valley that looks similar to Luca, just without the helmet. Uh, also builds a robot, yeah. Yeah, no way, that's not a Chrono Trigger reference. 
Yeah, and then Luca also just straight up being in Xenogears. She's just she's just there for some reason. Going on rework, Randall. Just got done going and pumped my bike up a mountain. Oh my goodness, to get home. That's some good exercise for you. Let's get more shelter up in here. Shelter, shelter. How did you know? Lucky guess. Uh, there. Oh, we had the shadow stuff on frogs still. We're fine. We're fine anyway. Oh, I didn't even know the character is also named Meru, and the original working title of Chrono Trigger was Meru Island. Oh, I had no idea. And a time hat. Now I can tell time with my hat. Yeah, Atari DC. I did finish Amori. My overall impressions is that it was a good game. There was something that the game, like, tries to make you do. Uh, I didn't wind up doing it, but they, like, try to make you do it. I really didn't appreciate it. But, I mean, the whole game's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable, so, like, there's that. But outside of that one instance, like, you know. I'm still kind of curious about the secondary route in Amori, but, like, I need to... I think I need to give the game a bit of a break. This big cage? Is disappearing. Hey, thank you. Gonna love the wig and beard combo. How you doing, Kayla? Yeah, I know what they try- yeah. Not- well, I mean, that's the one thing I related to so hard. Where, uh, if you try to eat, a uh, the jar of pickles with Kel, he just won't do it. So therefore, Kel is my favorite video game character of all time. It was like a dream world thing, but like I'm like kind of neither neither here nor there, I guess. Oh yeah, I totally forgot the charm. I can't remember if the hands are worth stealing from. Let's check that while we're at it. I think there's I think the hands are leave me empty-handed. Yeah, pickled quail eggs. Oh my heavens. But no, for like an RPG Maker game, Amori is like, really well done. Well yeah, of course Speedy's the star of the show, I'm lucky to be riding his coattails. Or in his case, cattails. If I remember right, 3D attacks, not even really that good. Like, I think I'm better off spamming Luminaire and having Ayla and Frog do their other attack. Their drop kick attack. Yeah, I'm kind of in that same boat, Atari DC. Yeah, sort of over the game is about depression games. Yeah, that's just me and my personal taste. Right. I'm wrong with it if it resonates with people. Well, that's just it. Like, if Amori came out when I was, like, 22, 23, I'd probably... I'd probably hold it in much higher regard. But, like, I can still recognize that it was, like, well-made and stuff. But it's like, I don't know, I'd, I would like to try to play stuff that just makes me feel, you know, good. Instead of having to talk to a psychiatrist when I'm done. Yeah, major gripe I have with this game. I you know the triple text. Yeah, really worth doing. 
Hey, Chris wrote us. Welcome back. Hey, thanks, guys. Oh, serious. Speedy is proud of you, Dad. Yeah. He's having a Speedy's having a nice sleep on his tree back here. You can see him. You can see him resting off in the distance. Melchior? Indeed, I am Melchior. Have we met before? More importantly, can you tell me anything about the Ocean Palace? Yeah, that's him. That's what Speedy's up to right now. See, the queen has degenerated to that degree. Oh. I have this RPG on the Xbox called The Veil. Character is blind and gameplay is made to simulate being blind. That could... I'm intrigued by the concept of that. Is it fun to play, Anthony? Or is it not meant to be, like, fun per se? More energy the mammon machine absorbs, the further the queen degenerates. Her spirit has been stolen by the infamous immortal Lavos. Oh, I swear I saw that. You might have. You might have seen pretty much the same cat tree elsewhere. Yeah, why didn't Melchior recognize you in Medina Village or the fair? I guess he forgot it. It had been like 13,000 years. I don't blame the guy for maybe. No, never mind. It's. Never mind. Good question. Must flee the seal is broken. The mountain will collapse. Hey, yeah, I'm going to the river later. Enjoy the trip. Oh, I haven't played it yet. Okay, also in place. It's called the Veil, though. Favorite food? I like poutine a lot. And spaghetti. Poutine's fries with cheese and gravy on top. The mountain of Woe is about to crumble. Whoa. Papu Pinguino, welcome to the chat. You should play Katana Zero. I've never heard of it. What's it like? I have a taller one, but I want that one too. Yeah, more obstacle courses for the cat. He has another cat tree, and I was gonna get rid of it, but he's he's still using it. So now I don't want to get rid of the other one. I just want if he's gonna pick at it and stuff, I'd rather just keep it here. Yeah, it's yeah, maybe it's just awkward for him. It's like, you look really familiar, spiky headed child. I am, yeah, I'm dressed up like Chrono. Ooh, 10 a.m. Nice. Eating some chocolate. It's a good way to start the day. That's a mystery drink right here. It's got floaties in it, though. If there's one thing I don't like, it's solids in my liquids. Like, anything that has, like, actual raspberry in it, and there's, like, raspberry seeds in the drink, it drives me insane. Like, I don't like orange juice or anything, like, with pulp in it. I can handle if ice is in a drink, but like fruit bits, I have like no tolerance for them. Lava sleeps deep underground while consuming the energy of this planet. If the mammon machine is brought closer to him, he may awaken. Ooh, 10 p.m. ramen. Nice. Toilet ramen with garlic sausage. Sounds good. Random guy, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Hope you're holding up. Yeah, she cosplay as Duster. I could, that, I could probably put together a Duster outfit. Ooh, an over-easy egg. Elder Shala is here. Head Shala. Dan Cullen did... Excuse me. Well, as I butch your name... Don Cola Dangelo? I'm sorry. Cola Dangelo. How you doing, Don? Hope you're good. But yeah, we just finished uh, the Mount Woe section in Chrono Trigger. Miss Shala, why have you come to such a miserable place? Stop degrading yourselves. We enlightened ones were once the same as you. The only difference is that we are under Relavis' control. What a filthy hovel. Melchior, after the Mountain of Woe fell, I thought I would find you here. Is it safe for you to leave the palace? That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. Yeah, this game kicks butt. Hell yeah. Does it ever. One of my, one of my all-time favorites. If the outfit didn't tip you off. That no longer matters. The Ocean Palace is now operational. And all is lost. 
Stop sucking on your cane, Melchior. Inshallah, looks like she's taking a drink or something. But without me, the mammon machine won't work. Turn my back on that evil device. Yeah, oh, I'm, I love doing, like, defense up. Or defense down, offense up, and, like, you know, vice versa. It's so good in Mother 3. It does sound like her theme's cry. I've kept the skyway open. Hurry, you must stop. My mother. I will. Why don't we keep it right there? Shut up, Dalton. Idiot. Dalton! Tisk tisk, my dear. Your presence is required elsewhere. No, no, I, I only wear this outfit for the stream. I try to keep the hair, like, relatively protected. Ah, the geezer speaks. Some of the hair, like, here is actually finally starting to, like, come apart. I sort of need to, like, glue it back together. I don't know, that was okay, though. It's, I think I fixed it. <laughs> Maybe I just fixed it. Silence, old man. But, I mean, this is like a ten-year-old wig. I'm surprised it's held up this well. It's worth every penny. Hey, Traveler Mac, yeah. Well, if every time I see you, you're wearing the hair. Nagito Komada on the Nintendo DS. Welcome to the chat. This game is Chrono Trigger. I'm playing it on the Super Nintendo. This is also available on the DS. Alan, how you doing? Thank you for the speedy emoji. I was just showing earlier, speedy's enjoying his cat tree off in the distance. You can see his cat body up top. He's having a nap. As Cat's one does. The Queen's children all seem to have a problem with authority, don't they? Stay back. The life of this woman means nothing to me. Shall we get going, Shala, dear? Your mother awaits. Melchior. I'm alright. We must save Shala or else. Impossible, even though it's coming from you, Melchior. If the Queen is allowed to fulfill her scheme, all life as we know it is doomed. Ooh, love from Canada. Nice. Right back at you. Maritimer here. You're willing to challenge the Queen? Hmm done so much for us. I don't even know your names. Gramps, use red stone. Help Mega. Now Ayla, help you. What are you talking about? Mega, let us be on our way. I love how just muscular Frog is. He hides it well. Take this with you. It's made from the same red stone as the Mammon machine. With it, you can destroy the machine. Got one ruby knife. But yeah, you can't use it as a weapon or anything. It's just something you jab into the machine. Yeah, the sleeper build, yeah. Yeah, I don't think frogs are really known for how jacked they are, typically. Generally speaking. Forget, I think I do have to go back to the palace. Should save it again. Let's seek shelter, then save it again. What lies beyond? Well, stop lying to me. Beyond or otherwise. Away we go. Back up to the... Forgotten... Oh, did I go the wrong way? No. No, I didn't. I have some speed tabs I need to feed to people. Delicious, delicious speed tabs. I'll just give one to each, like we're getting there. 14, 13, 14. Yeah, let's just spread it out equally. Alright, all right, DM. Enjoy your travels. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. 
One stumble of a weird part of YouTube is nothing but videos of giant frogs eating hamsters. It, yeah, I guess it must be. Yeah, the comments lead me to believe it might be a fetish. Or at least, like... I know that, like, being eaten is, like, a fetish. It's called vor. So it's probably, like, along those lines. If you're watching other things get eaten and really enjoy it, for lack of a better term. In the most fetishy way possible. That just rem when you said that though, that reminds me. How you doing, Blue? Because like a few years back, like I would just, like I'll still do it every so often, but a few years back, I would watch the wrestler Yokozuna like bonsai drop people, like botched bonsai drops, and some of those are brutal. But like reading the comment section was hilarious because like it was clearly a fetish for some people. I mean, I'm not here to like whatever. Like I don't care. It's just. Funny to stumble across something like that. Just because I don't care doesn't mean I also can't find it funny. How you doing, E man? Felt very uncomfortable and uh, more than a little disturbed. Yeah, thankfully, yeah. Get out of that algorithm, I bet. Is this is Twin. Yeah, let's just. This might be Twin Gall. I forget. Fooey, why is... Oh, no, we're just gonna fight. We're just gonna fight Dalton. Why is the Prophet allowed inside while I'm stuck with guard duty? Doing good. Glad to hear it. Yeah, Luna Knights. Yeah, never know what you'll find around on YouTube. Hey, thanks, reworked Randall. Always loved and hated the chance for Boney to eat a healing item. Meat. I've never had that happen to me one time in all the times I played Mother 3. I've heard about it happening. I thought I just heard someone say it. And they were just mistaken or something. It's never happened to me. Or I've never noticed it happening. Do you get, like, special dialogue for it? Like, does it say, you know, like, Boney... ...went to give Lucas the cheese, but Boney ate it instead? Like, what actually happens when he does that? There you are. Let the Prophet go. Knowing you'd mess up sooner or later, but I've no use for you anymore. Your history. Your history. I'm from 1000 AD. Jer, I was talking about one time. Ooh, power meal, one second. I think there's a good level to frog squash dino tail to the nth degree. At least until blur at the end. Yeah, Dawn's about to go down. One time, oh yeah, talking about they send Vader and Yokozuna to a weight loss place that was next to a fried chicken place. Yeah, and they gained weight. Yeah, they like bribed people or whatever. They're like, no, no, buckets of chicken. Like, sure thing. With pleasure. Yeah, back then, yeah, my favorite was, ooh, Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. Good choices. Hey, King Zero, probably won't talk too much tonight because I'm tired. Just want to pop in and say hi to everyone. Hey, hope you get a good sleep tonight, King Zero. Thanks for letting us know how you're doing. The dialogue is Boney took out the grilled chicken and scarfed it down. Okay. Like, I, my, I might have had that happen to me, but I've never noticed it. Because I heard that could happen, like, pretty early on. Like, if it wasn't my first playthrough, then, like, my second. I've had, like, eight playthroughs by now. But like, I don't know, maybe it's happened and I wasn't paying attention or whatever. That wasn't so bad. Chloe, and how you doing? Hey, thank you. Got my, got my hair out. No! I'm going to be immortal. I can't be beaten now. Right, yeah. If, if finding a 400-pound man's ass fetishized, funny, offends anyone, yeah, people need to lighten up. Exactly. It's hilarious and we all know it. Well, I mean, that's just it. You can have a fetish and also be well aware that it's funny. Vampire survivor? 
Oh, hey, how's it going, Carlos? Just got done watching. Ooh, a Carmagel live stream. Oh, is he just live right now? How you doing, Matt Henneman? Thank you for the being a member for 13 months. Well over a year, hey, thank you. Hey, thanks to, for the membership, whoever sent one. Hell yeah, man. Thank you for the lard. Thank you for being a member. Yeah, Octo Polaroid. Yeah, I was just talking about how the, I, um... I used to watch Yokozuna, like, do, like, Bonds his finishing move, the Bonsai drop to people. But, like, some of them were, like, messed up and, like, he lands hard. But, like, you read the YouTube comments and, like, they're pretty funny because it's, like, clearly... Like, some people were clearly into it. Which, like I was saying, like, I don't care, but it's, like, it's still funny to me. The black energy grows. Something scary is waking up. I wish I was turned on by more things, to be honest. I would believe it. Yokozuna once broke a toilet, he was so large. He was, like, they billed him as over 600 pounds for a while. I think he was one of the few wrestling instances where they actually, like, worked his weight down. So I'm pretty sure at his heaviest he was wrestling, he was at, like... Like, in the ring, like, around 700 pounds. The heaviest he ever got was, like, 80... Like, 2 or something. I don't know if he was in the ring at that time, but... Danny boys, how you doing? Is this Metal Gear Solid? Uh, no. I didn't watch the Montreal Screwjob live, but I heard about it the next day at school. How you doing, Stella? Yeah, he was so well, yeah, for a guy that big, he could really move around. Like, he wasn't just a slob, like, he was, he was very athletic. Shala, raise the power of the mammoth machine to its limit. Charlie, you dare disobey me? I guess before he was Yokozuna, he was, like, doing even crazier stuff. But then once he st settled into that gimmick, he wasn't, like... He was still agile, but not, like... The same way. Yeah, I hate the next boss battle. Oh, is that the, uh... The twin golems? Shala, you dare to disobey me? Alright, mother. I do like Chrono Cross, Danny boys. What bright splendor, the incredible power of Lavos. Ah. Yeah, being near to healing for any mystical grinding is ideal. Oh yeah, the uh... Uh, also the Lavos fight. Oh, yeah, I like the Chrono Cross system. Lines me a lot of Suikoden. I love Suikoden. Jay Mosser, how you doing? Yeah, Suikoden games are like one of my all time favorites. No, I. I played through Chrono Cross a few times now. I'll revisit it at some point. I don't know when, but like, I definitely will. Right, yeah. I used to think that Yokozuna was Japanese, because that's where Yokozuna are from originally. Well, they, d they did bill him as from Japan. If I remember, if I understand right, Yokozuna is actually Samoan. I don't know if he has any Hawaiian blood, but, like, he's definitely in the Samoan family. He was, like, Rikishi's uncle or something. Angelina, how you doing tonight? Oh, you like Suikoden 1 over Suikoden 2? Hey, no. No hate here. How you doing, Quadrant? Dropping in to say hi? Plan on playing this game myself soon. Right on. Yeah, do it up. Great time. But yeah, like, I prefer Suikoden 2 personally, but, like... If I have any say in the matter, I play Suikoden 1, then Suikoden 2. Like, it doesn't feel right to me to just play one of them. One and two need to be played, like, back-to-back, -back, I feel like. Yeah, 
Yeah, part of the Rocks family, yeah, somehow. Well, like, the Rock is also, like, in that Samoan family. Like, it's such a big family. The Neon home. Samo yeah, Samoa Joe's the only Samoan wrestler to make it big that's not a member, yeah, of that family, yeah. They pretty much have a stranglehold on Samoans, yeah. Oddly enough. Aeon suit. But yeah, I'm definitely not knocking Suikoden uh, 1. Big fan of the whole series. Where's that shot? I mean, I, I don't really know the exact geography of Samoa, so you could be right about that. Oh yeah, I need to do something else first. Yeah, not a bad idea taking Marl and Luca for here because of these scout enemies. Like, I mean, I have Frog at least, so I can give, uh, I can at least do regular water. Uh, Tailspin, go. But yeah, these enemies... They're color-coded, so whatever color they are, that's what they're weak to, which... is a little confusing when that happens in games, but... Could be worth it. Yeah, I liked Yokozuna. Oh, so it was your favorite RPG until you give... Oh, Shin Megami Tensai series a chance. I still haven't played an SMT game. I've played Persona, but not, like... SMT. But yeah, maybe I'm missing out. I mean, it's one of the longest standing RPG series, and I've barely touched it. I haven't really seen a lot of Roman Reigns' like modern stuff, but like, I've heard he's gotten pretty good. But if he's barely defending the title and not on TV a lot, I could get why people might be tired of him. Hey, Jay Montaigne. How's it going? SMT3, probably the best one. Yeah, and the H Oh, the HT version was good. I actually have SMT3 on the PS2. It was donated to me, but I never got around to playing it. Same with Persona 4. Play for SM oh, SMV. Oh, it's coming out on Xbox. I already played it on Switch. Ah, but it ran kind of bad. Yeah, it was Switch exclusive I, for a bit. Demon hit. Is that... That might be a weapon for Frog. Yeah. Ooh, two times hit for magic enemies? Then yeah, instead of the Pearl Edge, yeah. Which is 1.5 hit for magic enemies. Gotta go to bed, Night Harvin community. Have a good one, we reworked random. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Yeah, I think I might actually have to fight these. I forget. But yeah, Frog's new weapon, I think, is... Yeah, did did good damage. I mean, doing more than Ayla and the hero. Maybe I should re-equip the, the Demon Edge for... For a bit. I think I'll do that, actually. Ugly Douglas, 20k, how you doing? I think you like Digital Devil Saga. Oh yeah, that one's more... That's like DS isn't it? Like a, a handheld? Yeah, no, I, I get it. Yeah, he's a good wrestler, don't like his attitude. Right, yeah, I know it's acting, but it makes it hard to like some... No, I, I totally get it. It's kind of hard to separate the art from the artist. It's like, I hate this guy. Even though that means they're doing their job right, it's like, I still hate them. Let's just do this for a bit. I don't know, we'll find it. 50 50 chance, we'll either find it or we won't. This is just here. Now we can just cast water too. What are we waiting for? 
Oswa123, how you doing? 21 up alt E. Bro, your hair is on fire. Oh no, do you have a fire extinguisher? Quickly. I'm burning up. Stephanie Horowitz, welcome to the chat. Yeah, I get why they hid Duster's mystical shoes. Yeah, funny how his ultimate weapon can just be found, yeah, randomly. Oh yeah, like whatever boots that raises attack by like 80 points or whatever. Star Sword, maybe that's at times too. It's not. I, Carlos, I played Devil May Cry, the first one. I couldn't really get into it. Hey, give me your hairdresser's content. The thing that I found funny about Logan Paul in WWE was when they tried to, like, push him as a good guy, it's like, if there was ever a natural heel in wrestling, it's Logan Paul. I think they've started to course correct on that from what I gather, but... He might be good enough. We go to that center area once again. Yeah, hey, Zombie Kitty, thank you. Speedy being helpful. Yeah, putting out the fire, yeah. He's a good fellow like that. Hack Slaro, welcome back. How you doing? Wait, what? Are you gonna just come here? What? What? Am I even in the right area? Something about that doesn't seem right to me. Like, did I not just unlock? Maybe I can't. I don't know. I don't know, man. The closest I'm not exact to the murderers. Wait, what? Oh, uh, love DMC. Oh, love all five. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't have anything specifically against Devil May Cry, but I played the first one years ago, didn't get into it, and then I just never tried another one. Oh, there's a chest to the left of that switch I just stepped on. Not the... Not the demon hit. Here, you mean? Like, down... Like, below me, kinda? Oh, for Christ's sakes. Sonic arrow, okay. Yeah, how the hell did I miss that? Carefully. I've thought about that, actually, like, with Lisa the Painful. Like, I pretty much already look like Brad Armstrong, like, the main character. It wouldn't take a lot of cosplay, but yeah, I just need, like, a brown shirt, pretty much. Damn it, why did I do that? Digital Devil Saga, 1 and 2 on PS3, make sure to buy it. Oh, from the store before it closed. Oh, so you can get it on, yeah, okay. Love those games. Yeah, I played through the Lisa games like a few times years ago. I haven't touched them in a long time. I beat Lisa at least three times. If you've played through Lisa, you can probably reverse engineer what I did when I beat the game three times. Without spoiling. Try to heal up here again. I'm sort of sleepwalking through this dungeon. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm not that overpowered. Oh, what? The oh, the first Lisa is free on Steam now. I forgot that existed. Dev ported it over. Yeah, this area is sort of maze like. I do have... 
Yeah, we're fine. We're fine like this. I'm not stealing stuff. But... I forget how you're even expected to... Well, I mean, I guess do the... Three out of four ain't bad. I mean, I could just Luminaire them all anyway, but... And I will. Yeah, I gotta ride the elevator back up for the tab. Yep. It's an easy enough one to miss. I still might forget. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, but note it's less like Lisa the Painful, more like one shot. Okay, where you walk around, gotcha. Yeah, I thought, I didn't think it was, like, as... Like, I didn't think it was like an RPG, per se. You're a frog with a sword. Any extra dialogue or Eastrang if you name Frog is true name? Unfortunately, I don't believe so. He's just... Glenn's name is Glenn, you know, like stuff like that. The ancient red rock has been passed down through the ages. From it, a magic pendant and a knife were made. You embody Melchior's dream, sealed within the knife. Now hurry, if you plan to confront the queen, we're counting on you. I can feel it, the pulse of eternal life. Ha ha ha. That sounds dirty. Dark Force, Wild Energy. The Mammon Machine, Your Majesty, it's too dangerous. Don't stop, Shala, we're almost there. Immortality will be ours. Zeal will have the glory it deserves. Too long I have waited. Yeah, that was like a bit of an oversight. Now, I've heard... I've never actually tried this, but I've heard that, um... Hmm? Yeah. I heard that if you try to name, like, Marl, Luca, and stuff like that, that the game won't let you, but like I said, I've never actually tried to see. Gonna head out for a while. Phone's gonna die soon. All right, the Diamond Tims. Thanks for stopping us. I'll catch you later. I'll just do that one. Then do this and no, I can't. Well, what... What... Do Diamond Tail. Diamond Tail. Yeah. Correct. Dino tail. There we go. That other D word. It starts with D. Huh. Wobbly. What's going on? Why is that happening? I feel like you're being facetious right now. I feel better, my dude. I guess that's fine. But... Ah, you just, just regular sick. That's too bad. Hope you feel better soon. But yeah, being sick as always. It's not usually how I want to be. Nine times out of ten.
Some frog with a counter. Have a bit of a gauntlet match here. Yeah, Cog just has the time, yeah, turn based. Yeah, you know, like an ATV. That was, a, that was sort of an odd choice for an, an Earthbound like title, but I thought it was fine. Yeah, big time Luminaire this time, yeah. Luminaire spam, oh baby. I mean, it's nothing too crazy for me since, like, you know, I've played so much, you know, like, turn-based RPGs and what have you, but... Uh, I did wind up playing Cogdis on hard mode, because someone's like, haha, do the th like, the I didn't know what it did, and they're like, hey, do the- do this thing, so I was like, alright. And it was, like, hard mode. Uh, never mind. Just do that. I shouldn't have done that. I already regret what I did. Oxy Montana, welcome back. How are you? Did wait? Did that to a friend with Sekiro? Wait, did what? In Sekiro? Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, you know, just take her easy, best you can. Hope your immune system does its job. Great point. Yeah, go for it. Oh, an area where you can go to ring a bell and it changes the whole world. Oh! And make stuff harder. I see, okay. No, I had no idea that you could do that in Sekiro. Adds enemies, deal more damage. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I didn't know that was even... Not that I know a ton of, like, I played Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and Bloodborne, but, like, outside of those ones, I don't really know much about the... You know, the other FromSoft game. Leave here and come back. I forget. I gotta do just do this. Did I take the wrong elevator. Souls Lord game had over eight. Holy crap! 8,000 hours in Dark Souls 3. Look at you go. Yeah, I played Dark Souls 1. Oh, there it is. I uh, played Dark Souls 1, but that was... Uh... I liked it. That was kind of what made me a fan of the series. Like, I played Bloodborne and I liked it. Then I played Demon Souls and I didn't like it. Uh, but then played Dark Souls. I don't think I said that right. Played Bloodborne to start, then Demon Souls. Liked Bloodborne, didn't like Demon Souls, but then I liked Dark Souls, so I'm like, alright, I'm I'm a fan of the series. But then I didn't play another one. Yeah, game's the most fast paced from the some from soft games, I've noticed. I love the setting and pace, yeah, I got deep dives into them all. Yeah, because Sekiro's like more of a timing-based battle system, I think. I like how Bloodborne was with how it was, uh... I think it was good that I played Bloodborne first, because, like, it taught me to dodge. So so then when I played Dark Souls and Demon Souls, I was like, oh, so dodging instead of just turtling behind a shield the whole time.
Yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree. Bloodborne's a common starting point. Yeah, easiest game to get a foothold on. Yeah, how from soft games work in general. I've heard Elden Ring is a very good entry point as well. I've heard it's like considered like the easiest of the bunch. But I don't know, I still haven't played them. But I want to fight that guy. Come back. Yeah, so, like, I don't know what that says, because, like, I've expressed my annoyance with, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake and stuff like that, but, like... I thought Dark Souls was fine. It's so, like, I don't think it's just necessarily, like, a modern game thing, it's just, I don't know. Because it's not like it was... It's not like Dark Souls is, you know, easy kind of the whole thing about it, that it's not easy. Elden Ring's very similar in varied entry, okay, to Bloodborne. But in Elden Ring, you can literally make the game harder as easy as you want. Ah, good planning and building, gotcha. Has many options to do everything. Oh, many options to mitigate the difficulty. Also be one of the hardest, depending on how you choose to play, got it. So it's sort of a, you know, tailor your own experience sort of deal. Oh yeah, chicken broth, yeah. Alright, good luck, Wobbly. Hope you feel better. Parts of the game will be easier hard, depending on your build, right? You can always go about things in different ways. Like, I know, like, with Demon Souls, for example, at least with the PS3 version. Magic in that game is, like, so busted. I play- when I played Demon Souls, I did pretty much exclusively a physical build. Got to the end of the game, was really struggling. I did, like, a very minor, like, magic boost. Like, I taught- I forget what magic I learned, but I learned, like, Maybe, like, an enchantment for my weapon or something, but, like, yeah, I gave myself, like, a slight magic boost, and it was, like, just enough to get me through. If I were to play it again, I would 100% be, uh, build, you know, more magically... ...you know, oriented. Because I just- I ended up using the meat cleaver the whole game, I'm pretty sure. I usually just find a weapon that I like and just stick with it. Bloodborne I used... I just used, the, what, the serrated? Whatever the serrated en weapon was. Just used that the whole game. I'm a hungry cactus. Good day. Good day, mate. What's going on, Strider? Yeah, great custom, Harv. Thank you. you have a whole map of instructions. Yeah, shield or magic weapon. Probably magic weapon. And maybe also shield. Yeah, saw cleaver. Yeah, it is also <laughs> the best weapon in the game. I believe it. It served me well. Like, I still got my ass handed to me a lot. Don't get me wrong. But, like, did the trick. I did play the DLC, but I don't think I used any of the DLC weapons. I think I just stuck with the saw cleaver. Yeah, beat the game with a toothpick. Yeah, toothpick and then brag about it. Oh, why don't I... Why don't I that? Uh, haven't gotten Magus yet. No, Strider. I plan to. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a whole new Discord account. Doesn't know my password. Oh, that sucks. 
Oh, we're just in the undersea uh, palace area. I'm a hungry cactus. We're more than halfway through the game at this point. 70% maybe. Yeah, Falcon hit. I might have said toothbrick, meaning to say toothpick. I wouldn't rule that out. Oh, right on, Wobbly. Found an old Super Soaker. I haven't used Super Soakers in so long. I had one. XP 90, I want to say. I forget off the top of my head. Yes, yeah, Strider's playing a 40-year-old game. Yeah, now I don't need to play it anymore. Good job. No, I could. Like, in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure that, like, if I'm gonna stream games in this vertical format, like, just forget about spoilers, for the most part. Like, things are just going to get spoiled. I'm just trying to say, like, I shouldn't have it. Like, if I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna stream a game blind in this format, I need to understand that, like, it's going to be spoiled for me whether I like it or not. Yeah, the old tooth brick. I wouldn't want to be hit with a tooth brick. Break my teeth. With a brick. Ooh, 50 bucks for your birthday. Right on. I'll trade it for your computer. The ice cream, always a good purchase. Actually, I haven't had ice cream in a while. XO505, how you doing? I remember this dungeon being a little more involved for some reason. Oh, that sucks. Went to McDonald's and ordered while I was eating my ice cream, dropped it on the floor. Enjoy Bloodborne, the most out of your FromSoft games. Would give Elden Ring a playthrough. Gotcha. Yeah, really good gameplay and story wise. I had planned on waiting for the DLC to come out, which I guess it has now. But now with this whole vertical streaming thing, anything that's like a widescreen aspect ratio, I have to like really... It's a lot harder for me to justify widescreen games. Which is annoying, but like, it is what it is. Oh, enjoyed the lore of Elden Ring. Probably the most of the games, from what I remember. Hey, DK Banana. Yeah, Toothbrick. Yeah, sounds like a cool wrestling move, though. I wouldn't want to be hit with a Toothbrick. Welcome on to the pain train. You made it this far. Maybe I underestimated you. But this is the end. This is the end. But they will take care of you. How you doing, Cactus? What's up, Chrono Harv and fellow Harv Vaders? <laughs> Oh, that's annoying, Wobbly. Your test isn't even working. Here is my first FromSoft, which everyone told me was the worst one to play first. Did you find that was the case? How you doing, Karma Jewel? Thank you for the chocobo emoji. On rings, lore is a lot more in your face and directed. Okay, just keeping that esoteric vague feel. It's nice. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, I have some colored mail, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like me dying or whatever. Uh, frog squash, actually. There's a lapis. We have 19. Where did we get so many lapis? I guess they were just being dropped here. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to charm again. Yeah, hope you're well, Karma Jolt. Retro video gamer. Elden Ring is awesome, but the lore is convoluted. Oh, one second. Uh... They gotta gotta keep us alive here. But yeah, this, this fight can uh, be tough if you are ill-prepared, like I am currently. 
I mean, that iron orb isn't my favorite to be hit with. Doing well. Had a good day with Mateus. Staying at his grandma's tonight. Right on. Because she was missing her grandson. Oh, good, good. A lot. So staying at my girl's house tonight. Hey, hope you have a good night, Cactus. Just tuned in to support. Appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> charm module. Huge fan of Tenchu, so loved how it was presented after... Oh, the battle clicked with you. Okay, cool. Uh, slurp kiss. Hey, right on in bed watching via map. Yeah, charm a jolt. Hey, Scott X. Rented. Love Tenchu 1 on PS. I've never actually played any of the Tenchu games. Never have I ever. It wasn't from, like, lack of interest or anything, it just, you know, you can't play them all. Although, for some reason, now I'm remembering, like, the Bushido Blade games. I tried streaming the first one, and my internet just wasn't having it the day that I was trying to play Bushido Blade. Yeah, time for Ocean Palace, do yeah. Almost through her. Later, my lady gives me a slurp kiss. hey -o. Hey, Marco. The stream's been going uh, about two hours now. Oh, amazingly bad voice acting in Tenchu. I should extra play it then, because I love amazingly bad voice acting. One of my... F bad voice acting is like... One of... Or like cheesy voice acting. It's like one of my favorite things. Cognus is the Mother 1 battle system plus Chrono Trigger battles. Yes, yeah, sorta. Of. I love some Tenchu back in the day. You got the PS1 with the demo for FF7. Include a Bushido Blade demo as well. I... I didn't have that. Are you saying that there was like a PS1, like, bundle that had Final Fantasy VII? that also had a Bushido Play demo? Because I never actually had the Bushido Play demo. I remember, what was it? I want to say Brave Fencer Musashi had Final Fantasy VIII demo. That I remember. Portal stream? That's a good question. I'm kind of long overdue to revisit Portal. This would be a good a reason as any to replay it. Because I guess it's on Switch now, and I've never done the multiplayer uh, stuff in Portals are great games. I haven't played them in years now, though. They beat the Golem Twins. Alright, this calls for the Golem Boss. What's the strange force? Could this be Lavos's energy? Oh, it might have. FF Tactics had a Bushido Blade adver advertisement in the manual. Yeah, that was like a common square thing back in the day. Like, the back of the man- I think it was the back of the manuals. Would have, like, three other titles- like, square titles. Because I swear I saw, like, Toma number one on one of them, and, like, maybe Saga Frontier as well as Bushido Blade. Not on, like, the same game, necessarily, but... All my work will be in vain if I expire before I'm immortal. It was your lucky day. Bye-bye. The thing about Bushido Blade, though, is, like... I mean, it'd be good to play for, like, an hour or two. I don't think it would be the greatest game for me to, like, sit down and try to marathon stream. It's good. In case you're not familiar with Bushido Blade, it's a fighting game that Square made. And it's all about, like... <clears throat> enemies don't have, like, a health bar, but, like, if you hit your enemy correctly, you can win the fight in one hit. Or, like, if you did, like, a bunch of hits that, like, weren't fatal, you just... the fight wouldn't really end. So sometimes you could be in, like, this 20-minute long, just, like knock down, drag out fight. A lot of times you just get, like, cut immediately and you just lose. 
He was like, you know, kind of realistic in that sense. I gotta play another Paper Mario. I definitely have my eyes on Thousand Year Door. Uh, remaster. Oh, FF7 Saga Frontier. Okay, FF7 Saga Frontier and Bushido Blade on the back of Final Fantasy Tactics. Majub, Quickshot Nation, welcome to the chat. Yeah, R.I.P., yeah, Akira Toriyama. That's what spurred me on to play this game again. Because I had people ask me to play, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not ready to play Chrono Trigger right now. But once, you know, once we got the news, it's like, nah, well, I gotta, I gotta play some Chrono Trigger. I would love to play Urguys again. It's been so long. Oh, we're just, uh, we're just finishing up the Ocean Palace, Majub. Bushido Blade, if you do story mode and play through Dishonorably, oh yeah. Attack enemy before they're ready, yeah, the dirt in their face, yeah, you can't actually beat the game. I forgot about that. JRPG Inspired, how you doing tonight? So yeah, we have like a, a Lavos fight here coming up. It's technically possible to win. It's a bastard to try to beat uh, on your first playthrough. Like, I, th I guess it's possible. But, I mean, if you grind it and everything, but I usually prefer to do it for a second playthrough. It's like, we're probably going to get hit so hard that... I'm going to give Frog, just for kicks, I'm going to give Frog um, a golden earring for this fight. I'll laugh like an idiot if I manage to win, but I can't imagine that's going to happen. Here goes another. Tally Hall and Daily Motion. Air guys? Oh, <laughs> you mean Bert? Yes, exactly. But not like those flightless birds. How's the time to turn back, new? Any interest in Sandland? I wasn't like overly interested in it before. I still don't think I'll necessarily play it, but like I'll keep an eye on it to see if it's something I do want to play. Wait, when when was Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest canonically connected? I've never heard this. I'm all ears, though. I think that, like, if you have low enough defense, Lavos can even hit you for, like, a thousand damage. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, though. Right, yeah, Lavos first nuke. Yeah, usually takes you out unless you're high level. Ayla, come. We're strong beast. We shan't allow thee to meddle with Lavos, queen. You're... Help. I need to play Blue Dragon as well. What are you doing, Shala? I need your help here. Mega, use Red Knife. Oh, vaguely remember that it was talked about in interviews after the fact, but could be wrong, gotcha. Hey, BF Anime VR, how you doing? Seen you before, yeah, how have you been? Oh, good, good, hope you're doing well. So, oh, just scroll until I saw you again. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, Lavo Shell Spike Rain, yeah, one of the most brutal attacks in the game. Especially, like, this one. Like, this Lavos is just way stronger. Chrono Trigger was released, yeah, 95. I wasn't sure if that was, like, the American release date, but, like, it came out here in 95, at least. Hey, thanks, Carmagel. Liking and subscribing. The real hero are the people who sell you the gear. Yeah, Frog and Chrono. Yeah, one speaks too well. One can barely speak. The other can't speak at all. But they're trying their best. Ready, big brother. Sandland and Dragon Ball are together. They happened a few years apart. Dragon Quest happens a hundred years after the end of Z. Chrono Trigger happens about... 117 years after Z. I have to look more into that. Because this is the first time ever I've ever heard such a thing. Hey, thanks for subscribing, BF Anime. Appreciate it. The Mammoth Machine. Oh yeah, and we gotta sing the Lavos song. I'm, I don't know if I... If I'll have the determination... 
Like, I might be too distracted to properly sing the Lavo song, but like, I'm going to request that you guys sing the Lavo song along with me. To the lyrics that I wrote. So when Lavos' song starts playing, you have to say Lavos as unenthusiastically as possible, and also miss the rhythm of it by like about half of a beat. So just repeat after me. All right. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Lavos. 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 That was the Lavos song. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed singing it to you. Hey, thanks, Zombie Kitty. Hey, thanks for singing along, folks. In a proper manner. We actually somehow all survived that initial spike. Well, now we're now we're screwed. Uh, but I mean that that's tough. Lavos. Lavos. Frog. Do it. Did I just join a cult? I thought you had already joined my cult. Yeah, cult of heart. Yeah, reign of lard. Wait, what? It's crazy how much some people are trying to take advantage of others on YouTube stream. What do you what do you mean? Yeah, quite yeah, can't wait until you release your al album. Yay, hey, thanks, Atari DC. <laughs> With the period. Really, really driving it home. Got the scene with a... Yeah, spoilers, yeah, your world got torn asunder. Yeah, I did it ever. I say it, thanks, Carmagel. For actually singing it out loud. Yeah, moving. You got mono monotonic chants and an eccentrically dressed leader. Don't... Yeah, drink up. Drink your lard-based beverage. Thought you had the green... I did have the green dream, I just forgot to equip it. I've been waiting for you, Lavos. I want it- there's a way that you can, like, kill Lavos with the green dream. I forget how to do it. I meant to look it up. Lavos 2 specifically, I think. I have to look again. But... Swore long ago that I'd destroy you no matter what the price. It's time to fulfill that vow. Feel my wrath, Lavos. You look at this descendant of Supreme Kai. I'm gonna go to bed in a minute, but I'm gonna watch a bit more. Hey, sounds good, BF Anime. Do I have cream in my coffee, right? Yeah, that's basically liquid light. Close enough for me. I'll drink to that. False prophet, you'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. Oh my god, if I called him Lavos in a short, that would be the only comment I would get. You said his name wrong. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Shala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are part of it. Oh, I have this strawberry, Akia berry, Starbucks drink. We have this, this uh, supermarket chain here called Superstore. And the one nearby me just opened a Starbucks. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a... I already had caffeine today. I'm going to have, like... One of their refresher lemonades. Yeah, try calling Link. Yeah, Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Link Zelda or call uh, Metroid. They get really mad when you call Metroid Samus. Because as y'all know, Metroid is actually a girl. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me and I will destroy you also. Help. I've gotten a surprising amount of comments from people when I call in like Earthbound for the Super Nintendo. If I call the magic in the game magic, I get a surprising amount of comments being like, actually, it's not magic. It's like, I don't know, you're shooting fire with your mind. Like, that's magic to me. Come, Prophet, feel the power of Lavos. You what? 
should do it. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah, reading the comments. Yeah, then do like a comment reading stream after the fact. Lavos is throwing up power while sleeping. Yeah, did waking him up here make him less destructive? Maybe. In 1999. <laughs> yeah, seriously got like violent. <laughs> That's crazy. Violent hate comments about calling Sambus Metroid. Well, I just love how it's like obviously a joke. Like, it's obviously a joke. But some people, you, you just can't joke around about that stuff. It's serious. Video games are serious business. Israel, what's my favorite movie? Probably Freddy Got Fingered by Tom Green. I won't be beaten. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah! Had people literally not understand Link wasn't Zelda, yeah, and people got mad. Hey, Uden, have you been? I'm doing all right. Yeah, magic is anything you can't do naturally, yeah, that isn't scientific. That's the most random favorite movie. Well, like, I don't really watch a lot of movies, to begin with. But, I mean, I was a huge Tom Green fan growing up, so, like, if you're into that kind of humor, it's... That movie is definitely that type of humor. Yeah, I hope all's been well with you. Name my Link Ganon. <laughs> yeah, obviously we're the bad guy. Destroying the environment by burning every bush and bombing every wall and murdering you all the while, but... Hey, alright, BF Anime, thanks again. Have a blessed day and love the beard, appreciate it. Yeah, Magus' non-scythe red glow tick attack always makes me laugh here. Yeah, such a weird weapon. I'm surprised they didn't, like, make it a weapon. They're like, no, no, this is just like a dagger. Foolish one, your measly power can't touch, Lavos. Did they say that they were going to make a Zelda live-action movie, or was that just, like, hearsay? Yeah, Tom Green, yeah, came up for me when I was in early high school. Yeah, same here. So we all were imitating him. We know Canada's own. He actually still, like, uploads YouTube videos and stuff. He's calmed down significantly. Ah, uh, but he still does stuff. He's going on tour, I think, this year. It's from me to you. You shall enjoy life. Internal life as part of Lavos. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. I actually saw him live in, uh... For stand-up. It's probably, I don't know, like 10 years ago now. So like, went to Montreal, watched his show. I drank some of his Tom Green beer that he had. Which was a milk stout. It was actually pretty good. Magus, thou art mine to defeat. Stand-up. Now, it's funny, because, like, I could not get into Jackass. But, like, I thought Tom Green was hilarious. Stand-up, Mega. Ayla, like, no lose. No lose. Start fight now. Please escape, Mega. Humans can't hope to defeat it. So, you are Mega. Why don't you do as Shala says and run away, yelping and tear- Well, where? I'm in this pocket dimension. Where am I gonna run? Isn't your life precious to you, Mwahaha? Ah, halt, Magus. But yeah, you can just stand here and wait and, like, nothing actually happens. Who's better, Tom Green or Eric Andre? Eric Andre is- does a very good job. Of, like, that same kind of style of humor. I haven't watched er enough of Eric Andre for long enough, but he's, like... He's definitely a good guy to pass that torch to. Assuming he's still going. Equip, wait. Equip if you can. Love watching your vids. Yeah, it brings you back to a good time. Glad to hear it. Thank you for the lightning cactus emoji. I haven't given it. A hey, fighting the booze addiction. Hey, I hope it's uh, hope you're winning that battle, dude. Okay, watch the Jackass movie of nothing else. Got you. I haven't given up yet. What hopes? What hope do you do? I challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours, Marco. I'm 38. See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. Yeah, Gob. Exactly. Yeah, you. You gotta beat Lavos. It's the only way to save the future. Mega desist, Mega. 
Oh, he'll desist already. So yeah, Chrono is just fucking dead. He just gets melted by that beam. Pardon my French. Program saver, how you doing? Yeah, we're... Ah! Uh, I don't think we'll beat this tonight. We got at least another full stream of... side questing to do. We still have to get all the cats from the Millennial Fair and... stuff like that. But yeah, I watched a whole bunch of Eric Andre, like, when he was, like, relatively new, and then I just never really followed him again. Furkan, I... I don't know. I don't live in the U.S. either. Favorite plot point is being able to switch out all your characters. Yeah, in order... whatever order you want. Wait, what? Nega does... First time I played this game, I named Mega Sting right on after the wrestler. Did you have like a, a wrestler theme that playthrough, do you remember? Or is it more specifically Magus was the man called Sting? Yeah, I always thought it was pretty clever. Yeah. How oh, they fixed the timeline. Goofy as it is. Can't beat him, Lavos. Ah, we must plan our escape. The palace crumbles. This bottom of ocean, what can do? No, no, I do live in Canada. The last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. Now that I think about it, I named Frog Buff. Oh, right on. After Marcus Buff ba Buff the Stuff Bagwell. Gotta go. Alright, Marco. Thanks for stopping in. I love that. Oh, Tony Schiavone showing up and yelling, It's Sting! And Prophet takes off his robe. Yeah, he did just recently retire. But, like, somehow I missed this back in the day. I brought this up recently, but, like... There was, like, some episode... I forget, it was probably Nitro. Where there was, like, all these fake stings around in, like, sting masks. Then there's, like, a guy in the ring who was wearing a sting mask. And they take the sting mask off. And it was actually sting under the mask. And Tony Schiavone was like, It's sting! And it's it just... It, it's... It's just so funny. I think it's better if you, like, don't even know the context and just watch it. I know you can't forgive her, but please don't hate Mother or our kingdom. Yeah, the fake Stings. Yeah, Sting just retired... Uh, like, just recently had a tag match. I think it was him and Darby Allen. Maybe it was against the Young Bucks? I forget. No, he just had... he just retired. Kyra, how you doing? Yeah, Frog and Ayla slurp this. Yeah, is OP. I totally forgot. I don't know how I forgot, but like I totally forgot Frog and Ayla also had a slurp kiss in addition to like Marl and uh, Frog. Hey, Psycho Cage, how are you? We just uh, getting near the end of the Chrono Trigger. The Chrono Trigger. <laughs> uh, we're about to board the Blackbird. Now off you go. Just finishing off the Ocean Palace here. Yeah, Mega Chrono, that's right. Yeah, Kyra, yeah, Sting and Ultimate Warrior used to be teammates. Yeah, they're, I want to say they're called the Blade Runners back in the day. Folks moved from Montreal. Oh, I'm, uh, I live in New Brunswick. Oh, cool. Undertaker commented on in a very recent episode of his podcast. I don't watch enough of that. Why do I think games of today do not have the soul of the old games? There's nostalgia. I'm sure nostalgia is part of it, but like, I think there's also a certain amount of, like, modern game development where there's, like, no restrictions at all. So it's, like, all these developers just kind of run free, where, like, back in the Super Nintendo era, you had all these parameters you had to work in. So in order to make certain things happen, you had to get a little more creative. Now I feel like a lot of new games are, like, all, like, open-world hybrids. I feel like modern gaming's, like, lost the plot a little bit. Or at least, like, not necessarily, like, indie games, but, like, these big-time developers are, like, way more concerned about, like, just straight-up profit than necessarily making art. Oh, we recognized Sting and Ric Flair and Luger. And we were like, whoa. Oh, yeah. 
those are those guys from that old game. You played the, uh, what, the NES uh, WCW game? Cataldo, this game's called Chrono Trigger. Hey, Reggie Player One, how you doing tonight? Yeah, Maritimes is a nice spot. Yeah, outside of Nova Scotia. Yeah, I've, uh, I've played my fair share of pro wrestling on the NES. I don't think I've ever beaten it. Favorite Chrono Trigger ending? Probably, probably just the Dev Room ending. I don't know if that's like a cop-out answer. Uh, but if we're not talking that one, probably the one where the, the Reptite ending. Oh, previous comment. Oh, when we were very young, our friends found... Oh, WCW, yeah, on NES, in the, tr in the trash. That's an unfortunate place to find any again. And years later, when we actually started watching wrestling, got it. Now those are those guys from the game. I mean, I used to wrestle. I was, like, I was in the independent circuit, though. Son of Light Gaming, yeah, classic indeed. Yeah, the, yeah, AAA companies tend to not innovate so much anymore. They just play it safe. Oh, sorry to hear you're not feeling good, Reggie. Hopefully we can help you feel better. A lot of charm of the older games, their limitations. Yeah, bred so much creativity. And amazing and cool moments. Yeah, hardware limitations like that, yeah, don't exist in the same way. It's like, what do you call it? Like, uh... You know, decision fatigue or whatever. It's like, what kind of game can we make? I don't know. We can make any game we want now. So let's make an open world game like everybody else is. Claudio's YT channel. How you doing? Magical Kingdom down. Yeah, the Blade Runner. Speedy the Cat. How you doing, buddy? Come here. Speedy. Come here. Buddy. I'm cosplaying as Chrono, and you're cosplaying as Chrono's cat, so we need to be together on the stream, buddy. There you go. There you go, my buddy. Speedy the cat. Bad dudes. Yeah, do it up, Son of Light Game, and get more Chrono uh, cosplayers. I'm being a little slack. I don't have my orange neckerchief thing tied, but... Great place with this group. Yeah, depression or not, yeah. Oh yeah, we're here to we're here to back you. Yeah, no problems, yeah, to fix anymore, so no one's really pushing forward, yeah, other than indie dev. Right. Yeah, who are emulating a similar situation, yeah, with their budget and hardware, totally. Yeah, like a more. Yeah, speedy service, yeah. Glad I didn't leave now. Speedy's been you know, spending a lot of time in his new cat tree. Yeah, so he'll he'll uh, do shift work, he'll sleep on me for a bit, then he'll go to his new tree and sleep there. He sleeps on this one way more, because, like, the top part's just wider. He could, like, sort of fit in the other one, in his old cat tree, but, like, it was, it was a little snug. This new one's a lot more spacious for him. But, yeah, exactly, uh, you know. You gotta weather the storm. Oh, Cerviche, yeah. Speedy Cerviche, yeah. He's the leader of the bunch. One heck of a fighter makes one heck of a lunch. Don't you, buddy? Look at these ear scritches, aren't you? Hey, Brian's back. Tell a friend. I think we can get him purring. I don't know if you can hear the purring or not. Hey, welcome back, Marco. I mean, you can't see him, but maybe you can hear him purring. He's definitely purring. Ooh, contact fell out. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Samurai Pizza Cat dub was basically Animaniac several years early. 
I love to tell the story about Samurai Pizza Cats, about how, like, the Japanese company, like, didn't send the American team the script to translate the show. So the American team just made their own script. And if you watch in the English dub of Samurai Pizza Cats, knowing that, it's, like, super obvious and even funnier. Even in the intro song, they say, as soon as someone finds the script, we might begin the show. Like, that's... That's a shoot. Like, that wasn't just a jo Like, it was a joke, but, like, it was also true. I've been neglecting my... You gotta try to take care of yourself best you can. You get all... Get all anchored in, buddy. Not eating even though you're hungry and my stomach hurts. Feel like an empty... Yeah, you gotta, you know, first things first, get some food into you. It's hard to make your, you know, best decisions if you're hungry. Yeah, English version's way more memorable. Yeah, like Proto MXC. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and the creator, oh, actually approved of yeah, Samurai Pizza. That's good. They, no, they did a bang up job with the translation. That's my favorite show growing up. But yeah, that's where I, that's where Speedy got his name from. That show, Samurai Pizza Cats, Speedy Serviche, it's like the main character. But yeah, if you go back and watch Samurai Pizza Cats, and knowing that. It's a riot. Like, it, it was a funny show to begin with, but, like, knowing that and watching it, it's even funnier, I think. But I understand you said something, the effects of he wish he had just went, yeah, straight up absurd. Yeah, the actual show wasn't, like, so jokey, was it? Like, it, it was more, like, played straight, I guess. Energy's at an all-time low. Do you have any... I mean, I don't know how much of it might be, like, just the weather. Or if there's anything you can possibly... You know, hobbies you can do to distract yourself with. Hey, L'Italiano Verd, how you doing? Thank you, thank you. Putting on my, uh... Put my best face forward tonight. Um, you, you're e wait awake. Good old misplaced comma, not comma, apostrophe. Not ampersand. Yeah, you should at least try to eat. I under like I'm not trying to like blow off your feelings. I'm sorry you feel that way. I mean, if you can if you can bring yourself to eat or maybe just make yourself a nice drink, that might be a good first step. Might feel a bit better. Yeah, making it full comedy. Yeah, I was it was funny. It was a great show. I need to watch it again. Leo, welcome to the chat. How you doing? Does he all kind of deserve what they got? I mean, maybe a little. Mega, where Mega? We found no one else. No, that not true. Mega strong, mega not gone. Be this the earthbound village? It cracks me up that there's an earthbound village in this game. And how both games have a, you know, a capsule that you recover HP with. This island was the only refuge left after the ocean palace disaster. Metal bird, place that float in sky, all gone. Yeah, I'm Earthbound guys. I think this is Mother Cogdis too in disguise. It it might very well be. Nah, I won't be playing Fortnite anytime soon. Whether have an old man Melchior or gone. I mean, power to you. You you enjoy. When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized. Melchior tried to save Janice, but he was also dragged in. A black portal. Yeah, he kind of was hit by a Kamehameha in a in a sense. A gate. Where's Shala? What happened? I don't know. No one's seen her since. Swedish monkey, how you doing? 
Epoch, what fate has to befallen it? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Oh, this must be yours. <laughs> Here's your pendant. Look, pendant that Mega had. It was at your side like a guardian. Take all the time you need to rest. I will be in the commons. Hey, Hunter, how you doing? Oh, who would I even want in the party? I can show Robo a little bit of love, I guess. Briefly. Some brief Robo love. Lavo, stop beckoning, would you? Doing good, glad to hear. Yeah, I hope you feel better tomorrow, Reggie. Get out of the way, new. Check back with him, because his wear is very from... First try, GG. Got the magic tab. You usually don't get that first try. Buy? Yeah, where's my load shields? I guess I should have bought them earlier. Ew, sorry to hear you're sick, Swedish monkey. Best, uh, why is that? Best to have Ayla in the second or third position. I liked having Ayla in the first position because... Maybe it... Actually, it probably doesn't matter so long as she's in the party, so never mind. I was gonna save for the next part so she can, like, punch people. Moonstone left in a sunlit spot for millennia becomes a sun stone. The sun keep of zeal had such a stone. Very old stones are required to harvest useful amounts of power. Few enlightened ones did survive, but no distinctions remain between the enlightened and the earthbound ones anymore. Oh yeah, we should probably, uh... I need frog in the front for this, actually. I just saved it, so... Hit the right button, damn you. Oh, the chest next to the sleeping guard. Oh, has the equipment for whoever's in the first position. I, oh, I see what you're saying. So then you would actually have two people that can fight rather than just being a like I get you. I might be getting ahead of myself here. Yeah, this might be after. I forget. Yeah, it's zeal. Yeah, just. NPC just implied there are multiple sunstones. I mean, that would make sense, I suppose. Because there was, like, back in Ayla's time period, like, that dreamstone's supposed to be all over the place. It gets lost in time. I have to talk to everybody in this area, I forget. All rested up. Bow and pay homage to our new league, King Dalton. Oh yeah, Discord, it's like a... I don't even know how to explain it, it's just sort of like an internet forum type thing. Like, I have my own Discord server. So, you know, people can just, like, chat and stuff. I I mostly use Discord for, like... Or the Discord server, rather, to, like, post before I go live. But, like, if anyone ever needs to get a hold of me outside of a stream, like, Discord's the best way. Like, I don't use, like, Twitter or anything like that, so if you need to get a hold of me outside of YouTube, like, Discord's usually what I recommend. Yeah, you can join Discord from your phone. You there, what's wrong? You're lucky to be alive. The old crone and the pesky gurus are gone, and now we're named Zeal, the Kingdom of Dalton. You're alive, that vehicle outside must be yours. Just like the one Belvastar was building. I've decided you don't deserve such a splendid toy. Henceforth, it shall become my personal chariot. Come again, sir? You'll have to come with me. You might start a rebellion or something. Oh, like, when I first started streaming, I had people ask me about Discord. I'm like, I don't know what a Discord is, but sure, I'll have, I'll start one. That was a token of my esteem for you. I know I could definitely do more with Discord, but like... I just, I just don't get it. Take this. Urgh. Huh. 
How's this? I love how ever I love how they just turn around and take it in the back. He doesn't even say, look, a distraction. Huh? I had so much trouble with this part for the first time as a kid. Where is this? Our equipment's gone. All stuff, gone. Confounded the money, too. Ayla fight, get all weapons back, destroy bad man. Now, I've never actually tried to do this, but apparently if you try to leave before getting all the stuff, I think it lets you, but like... I don't know if it like really lets you. We're going up. Oh, yeah, okay, Jay's just saying, yeah, left without your items the first... Okay, so you can just leave without your stuff if you want. Or at least the item. Sky, this sky. I didn't even realize that was possible until... I want to say my last playthrough. I just assumed it wouldn't let me leave, and it's like, oh, it does. Well, I mean, don't give up, Reggie. Breeze, come in here. My salmon... no. My salmon GPS... Is steering me right. I wanna say... It's not here, is it? Salmon GPS does it again. Hell yeah. Get Frog's equipment back. Tab up in the ducks. Oh, right. That only... That's dirty. That only appears when you found all of your stuff. Hey, you. But yeah, Ayla, you can't... You know, they didn't cut her hands off, so... She can still attack. Yeah, leave without items and money, but not weapons. Maybe that's a... I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head, but remembered that one. I'll just wander around and look. I love how Robo's like, yeah, I can't attack. You took my hands off. Robo, you're still like a two-ton robot. You could just like shoulder tackle stuff. Yeah. I don't want to, though. Hey, you. Yeah. Yeah, learn from the first... Same. Learn from the first playthrough, bring Ayla here. First time I played this game, I definitely didn't bring Ayla here. I forget who my, my team was my first time. If I hadn't... If I wasn't team Ayla all the wayla first time around. Yeah, I think Robo would work for the weapons here, too. Well, I mean, like, I do get how at least, like, he does change, like, his hands or whatever, but, like, yeah, he could still... He would still be quite dangerous without hands. He's a robot. Yeah, he could do one nasty spear, could he ever? I mean, whatever it takes, Reggie. Use that and keep moving forward. I think Square will do something next year for Chrono's 30th. I hope so. Now, like, I really don't want them to do, like, a Final Fantasy VII remake style remaster or anything of Chrono Trigger, but, like, for God's sakes, could I at least have a port of this game on, like, modern consoles? If nothing else. I would love to have, like, trophies to collect. No reason that this game should only be available on Steam. So yeah, maybe for 30th anniversary, like, 
I wouldn't be opposed to getting, like, an HD 2D remaster, but not... I mean, if they did it the style of Live Alive or, like, Octopath Traveler, I'd be okay with that. But I, if they did it, like, Star Ocean 2, where, like, the characters and, like, the enemies and stuff are still, like, original pixel graphics... But, like, the backgrounds were, like, high definition. I would, I think that would be perfect for me. I would be content with that. Give us another optional dungeon that's not the Lost Sanctum. And I wouldn't really have any complaints. I'd want to see HD 2D, but, like, like I was saying, have it be more like how Star Ocean 2 went about it. That's how I would like to see my remasters from here on out. I really like that aesthetic. You can squeeze through these enemies, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe not. Hey, Fridge, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, anytime, Reggie. Always important to, you know... You know, always, always try to talk yourself out of the situation first. Yeah, not DLC. I'd be pretty chapped if there was a DLC. Like, I don't know, original game didn't have DLC. Maybe this is the one you can just slide through? No. I guess I'm just making that up. <laughs> right, yeah, if Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D is any indication. I don't understand why that's taking so long. Because, like, did Live Alive take that long? If the answer is no, then, like, what's the problem? I just don't understand. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't envy having to... put the stuff together in a timely fashion, but, like, I don't know, they could have just not announced the game that they haven't updated us on in four years. Hey, Claudia Rosler, yes, uh, there was Chrono Cross on PlayStation, which I act which I like. Not everyone's a fan of it, but I like it. Well, yeah, and there was... Chrono Trigger did also come out on um, PlayStation 1, but yeah, the load times are insufferable. I put up with it back in the day, because I played Final Fantasy, well, 4, 5, and 6, and Chrono Trigger all on, like, their respective collections, the Anthology Collection, at least in the West, the Anthology Collection... Which is Final Fantasy 4 and... Was 5 and 6, excuse me, and the Chronicles collection, I think, was... 4 and Chrono Trigger. Then there was Final Fantasy Origins, which was... Okay, I gotta get the... Tab. Uh, Origins that, um... Was 1 and 2. Goose video, this game's called Chrono Trigger. It came out on Super Nintendo in 1995. I mean, I hear you, Reggie. I, Whether you believe me or not, I still have those kind of problems. You just gotta kind of... You know, best you can. You gotta try to accept the hand you're dealt, but also, you know, do your best with what you have. And I mean, I'm sure that no one's harder on you than you are to yourself. Yeah, here we go. Back on later, but yeah, yeah. There, there, now we got that conditional tab. Conditionally magic tab. I think we're safe to leave now. I think we've got our money, we got our items, we got everyone's equipment, so we... We good.
we have those other enemies to fight, so I mean, I guess do that. Try to get Robo some... It's good to level Robo up a bit, because he does have, like, a solo fight uh, during, like, the endgame business. Oh, where, oh, where? I'm looking for the hit ring. Where is it? Uh... It's right here. Robo will give you... Oh, you. Pr I could probably give you much better stuff. Yeah, Robo Helm and Aeon Suit. I'll give you the Berserker. See if that helps with that enemy. I remember it taking forever. Like, the Final Fantasy IX battles. Like, swirling around is like 15 seconds, felt like. I forget when Bronze Fist Ayla happens. Is that... 75? I actually can't remember. Like, my knee-jerk reaction is to say level 50, but I don't think that's right. I think I could suit several camera angles. Yeah, Chrono Trigger didn't bother me on PS1. Oh, in comparison. Now, let's, uh... Let's go... Yeah, if we get Robo leveled up a little bit here, that'll help us. Uh, before long. And it's funny how Final Fantasy IX has the whole Excalibur 2 thing, and still has all that wasted time. Hey, Tarek Stevens, Robo's a hack with all gold. What do you mean? Demons with horns, how you feeling tonight? I'm doing okay. I can't really complain myself. But yeah, these things also give 100 TP. Similarly to the rubbles on Mount Woe. Yeah, no problem, Reggie. Ooh, 1500 experience to boot. Oh, gold stud. Oh, okay. Gold stud, gold helm, gold armor. And you're golden. Another fever, good lord, my dear. Hope you feel better soon. That's uh, that's some toasty. Can you cheese the Excalibur two by letting the clock roll over from ninety nine hours back to zero? I think it's like more than 99 hours, but I do think you can, like, overflow the clock, or underflow, or what have you. I don't think it's at 99, 59, 59, though. I could be wrong about that. I think it's, like, much more, but it will eventually uh, flip over. I want to say when it flips over, it even changes the color, but I'm not, I'm not sure why I think that. Because I've never done it myself, but I think that's the thing. I love how it, like, slides us down, but when you get this far, it's like, yeah, you're fine. I mean, I wouldn't want to fall off and game over, that'd be annoying, but... Hey, Phoenix Connor, welcome back, how you doing? Player plays for 100 hours, 256 times, okay. Game's internal clock will reset. So it has to be, like, a lot of hours. Okay. About three years. Oh, yeah. Doing all right, Phoenix. But no, I hear you. Like, it, you know, life always has its ups and downs. So just, it's not always a fun ride, but your ride's not over, so keep on riding. Pure wave, yeah. I don't want to fight both of them at once. I have a feeling if you fight them both at once, even if you kill them both at once, you don't get 200 tech points. I'm probably just wrong about that. Yeah, most powerful thing in any RPG. Yeah, invisible walls. How's Robo? How's Robo doing already? 
You're already, you know, getting close to the Uzi punch. You know, yeah, well, you know, come hang out anytime, Reggie. Hopefully we can lift your spirit. Yeah, three years straight of the game running. There's gotta be, like, a speed run to that. And by speed run, I mean... Well, I mean, it would still be a speed run. In the most technical sense. That one person jumping like a frog, then realized, oh, it was a frog, yeah. I have my glasses, but still seems like I'm blind. But I think there's one more. Um, nope. That's, uh... They don't respawn, do they? Think so. I've never actually checked. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so let's well, let's do a charm top. I forget what the golem boss has. But... Charm top. Where are you at? Yeah, I don't want your berserker on either. Give you do something for speed. Three speed, sure. Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, breakups are definitely... Can definitely be hard on the head. But especially if you really care for the person, but you know, gotta... Gotta try to move on, best you can. Get out there, meet some other people. When you're ready, of course. Something cometh. It's a massive magic energy reaction. Yeah, Robo's not fast at all. That and I've been pumping speed tabs onto other people, so it, like, really... And I haven't been using Robo, so it, like, really shows. Alright, so let's, uh... I don't want to be messing around here in the Golem boss. I don't know how a player would know to... know to go here. Out on the... the wing. No, he's counting down. He's gonna cast, like, Mega Flare or something on me. Oh, no. Anything but what he's about to do to me. Oh, it's natural to take that sort of stuff hard. It's a very human thing. I'm gonna try to beat this enemy before it, uh, its countdown happens. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I still want to. You do get experience. And then he resets his... the countdown, his Care Bear countdown. I love how she, like, charges up her triple kick attack. She just kind of, like, caffeinates out there for a second. Talk about yeah, the golem boss is a bum with nothing to steal. But yeah, if the fight goes on, oh, it didn't. I killed him a little too fast, but like, if he counts down again to zero, the boss just starts talking about how much they hate heights. And I think if you don't beat the boss shortly after, they run away, but, like, it's just, like, a funny little, like, levity, you know, moment of levity after, you know, the whole Chrono thing just happened. It's, like, a joke that they just, they don't really telegraph it until, 
you know, you don't kill the enemy fast enough. But if you do kill it fast enough, you might not even realize there's a joke thing. Yeah, Ayla's a beast for sure. Yeah, definitely. Ayla's a beast. Yeah, she is the beast, yeah. Yeah, she's just Ayla all the way, Lemon Man. See these beautiful wings? Now this is a king's throne. I now name it the Arrow Dalton Imperial. And they're going to be my first victims. Arrow Dalton Imperial, engage. No, 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 no. Enough of the diegetic music. Stop it. I need non-diegetic music. There we go. Ready for takeoff. Dalton, you oaf. Yeah, trivializing the Blackbird dungeon you know, with their punching power. Yeah, it was pretty funny. They're like, well, we can't cut... We're not going to cut your hands off, so I guess we can, we'll just let you fight your way out. We have liftoff, Houston. Look. Also, the fact that they're still on the wing of the plane this entire time. Epoch, it's flying. Thanks, Dalton. It's the only useful thing you've ever done. It's not Epoch, it's the Arrow Dalton Imperial. You are excess baggage. Make like the wind and blow out of here. Why don't you make like the black wind and blow me? You're like insects to me. Epoch, go now. What happens to the lasers later on? Yeah, very sus they disappear. Yeah, they never do get used again, I don't think. I think Dalton knows it's a time machine. Uh, I have a feeling he doesn't know, though. You. Um, let's do... Maybe a full leather. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Jesus, Uden. I'm sorry to hear that. We are lagging, aren't we? Oh, my God. Oh, stop it. Or is it, is it rectifying? I don't know. We'll wait a second here. I, I think we're stabilizing. I don't know why, but like lately my X split has just been crashing. Like it just freezes and I have to like control alt delete the program and start it up again. I don't know why that's happening all of a sudden. I think we're back now though. Sorry about that once again, folks. Good now. All right, right on. How do you? I used to use OBS, but I switched over to XSplit. I just usually XSplit works better for me because like it's just less moving parts. It's less tinkering for me to break something and not realize what I broke. But yeah, I'm XSplit all the way now. Go, Golem boss. Oh no, I'm being sucked into the area the golem boss used to live. Yeah. Hey, Wilson, thank you. Wow, most awesome thing in 2024. Yeah, Chrono playing Chrono Trigger, thank you. Glad you enjoy me. How I am playing the game that I star in. That groundling thief. Epoch, okay? More importantly, did he change the controls? Yeah, I think that's the last we see of Dalton as well. Frog, press the Y button. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess technically they use the lasers here, but... But yeah, instead of just... surging a hole in the lava, so they're like, no, no, crash into them, it's fine, they'll be fine. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Rude. And try the X button. Which button did it used to be? If it's the X button, I don't know. Never mind. Makes me think on the Epoch, there must be, like, actually a Y button and an X button right there. Quick, push the X button. Yeah, it chirped. Oh, playing this game, Bat Boy. Oh, reminds me of what I'm doing. I should have linked my CPU. Is that, like, robot humor? He's, like, talking about his butt? Fantastic. We are actually in his dut. Epoch in good shape. E Epoch become bird. We were lucky if we pressed the wrong control devices. How would the people on the ground see the Dalton is gone? I mean, I guess they just assumed the Dalton was in the... The Blackbird. Death897. Hello, Grim Reaper. Dead or alive, let's go find Mega. Can I sleep here? Will you stay? Yes, let's sleep on this bale of hay together. All three of us. I'm gonna snuggle up with the robot and this frog. It'll be, be nice and cozy here. Ah, all rested. The new king. Time is soon to go. Finally. Yeah, damn, death. Well, I mean, Chrono did just die in the game, so like... That's pretty, pretty soon, I must say. Tired, yeah. Oh, you heading out, Uden? Yeah, yeah, Kron already got blasted, you're late. Maybe someday it'll help change our environment, maybe. Alphador, good kitty. Aw, Alphador. Hooray. Slowly recovering, I got to start from scratch. Yeah, let us, uh... Frog got going on here. I think this will be a fine. I think the setup will be just fine. Blackmail versus Lavos. Lavos. Magus, the other five lettered enemy. I should probably wear the. At least the Rabo helm for this fight. If he's gonna do all varieties of magic at me. I mean, spoiler alert. Frog or frog? Frog. Yeah, sounds good, Uden. Thanks for stopping in. You have yourself a good one. Yeah, like, I, um... I have, like, this nasal spray I use called Sinus Plumber. It has, like, it has, like, capsaicin. Or at least, like, cayenne pepper in it. Helps clean out the old sinuses. I pushed the Magus button, so it's you. Magus. Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of zeal and all the dreams and ambitious of its ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. But yeah, I didn't bother getting the uh, Chrono clone yet. Mostly because I wanted to show some optional dialogue here. A dimensional warp. Its power is beyond human control. No, we'll be dragged into the warp. No, Janus, stay away. But... It's a... A time gate. No. Chala. Janice. Back here, Janice. Lavo, shut up. You have to make that noise. 
The only thing worse than something destroying the planet is when it's talking shit while it's doing it. This is... He's like, you know what, I'm gonna build a nice little alleyway in the end of time here. Hey, nothing here. This must be the end of time. Good thing Ozzy was just chilling there. I mean, I guess. It's a good thing. Thou art... Thou art that filthy urchin. Yeah, Lavos. I missed my spot. Ever since Lavos's time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I waited to even the score. Yeah, no matter what Chrono and friends do, time still ends, I guess so. Failure. You interrupted me just as I had summoned Lavos to my castle. How ironic that, having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up in this age. Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabling me to convince the queen that I was once a mighty oracle. But no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dares to oppose it meets certain doom. At this rate, you too will meet a hideous fate, just like that poor fool Mega. You dare to insult him? He's history, play with... I thought I had to fight him regardless for some reason. I, ha I don't fight him. Hold thy tongue. Well, I mean, I could. But you wish to fight me? No. Vanquishing thee will neither return Mega or Cyrus. Wait. Okay, Vegeta, you can come along. I'll come with you. Treachery! You know, there might just be a way to bring him back. Nonsense? Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. Yeah, I gotta get ye old Magus. Yeah, I forgot. Like, I thought I had to fight him, then you joined me. It's like, no, no, if I fight him, you don't get him. You get, like, some accessory instead. Whatever he has equipped right now, I think you just get. I forget. The amulet, maybe? See amulet do? I don't even remember. Oh, smells, uh, smells bad. Protect status, yeah. Yeah, fighting Magus will not solve anything. There we go. Old Magus in the party. Well-rounded Magus. Uh. Let's... We go to the end of time first. Well, I mean, I kind of have to anyway. Epoch space, time compass has gone haywire. Oh, because of the black omen. Yeah, magic can beat that ass, though. Yeah, we could take him along for Death Peak, I guess. Is Robo related to Metaton? Yes, they are in the same uh, family. Oh, check out Laruba Ruins in DC and Sunkeep in 600 AD. Those are the ones with the tabs, right? Those the Ocean Palace hath risen. Surely it doth beckon us. Me hate Ayla not like boat. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Then. Ah, uh, there. Now we don't have to worry about the Black Omen. We're fine. It's all good. It stirs my slumber, slumber new. He's trying to get some shut-eye. I'll change Frog's name. So let Wait, what? What? <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Forget no need for the stone, so I give to you. 
I mean, I had to have known about that, but like, I don't remember being able to rename everybody. Silver Rock. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's actually any tabs in 65 million now that I say that out loud where people can hear me. Yeah, Mag is like the Vincent Valentine of Chrono Trick kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, the other main character. Yeah, tabs hadn't been invented yet, exactly. Precisely. There's Ozzy's little hovel. Oh. I don't remember the renaming, but I do remember naming him Cyrus somehow. Like, yeah, I must have seen that before, I just didn't remember. Yeah. Got a power tab, all one word. <laughs> I mean, good question, KJ. I forgot about that. How you could steal some. I have a feeling that was an oversight. But, great question. Maybe that was, like... Maybe that was actually reptite technology that humans... The filthy humans... Uh, claimed for themselves. It is always how I thought of it, yeah, because the Toriyama connection. Yeah, same here, either uh, him or like Piccolo. Yeah, I'll be on again tomorrow, Retro Video Gamer. I'll probably be playing Chrono Trigger again. I might finish the main playthrough tomorrow. I think after tonight and what I do... Well, I might not finale it tomorrow, but yeah, I'll have another uh, stream of this tomorrow. Oh, you can also rename the Epoch using the Terminal. Okay, at the Keeper's Dome. That's good to know. Yeah, because if I remember correctly... Like, you're going to be the big thing, but if I do this... Because I don't think I fought that version of Specchio. If I do... What do I even want in this? Uh, you're kind of pointless. Uh, oh, Marl, I guess. She has haste, at least. Let us not make waste. Yeah, Rabo Helm, and... I don't know. Water, I guess. Where's the red? I love the red one. Try that. See how that goes. I don't think I need your amulet. What do I want instead of the amulet? I mean, I guess silver stud or something. Sure, why not? Let's try it. Yeah, crash the Black Omen into Lavos. That's a way better idea. That punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Phew. We've hauled in a Marlin here, kids. And he can use Shadow. Probably teach me a thing or two. Meta V. Yeah, we got some Chrono Trigger for Super Nintendo today. some practice. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Reggie. I mean, it's just as well you didn't let that drag you down, so... Probably better off. Oh, Black Omen, the burnt pizza slice ring. I just loved how lighthearted Specchio's music, just regardless of what's happening, just like doop de doop de doo. 
Not a care in the world. It's the end of time, after all. Where do you have to be? Yeah, and he won't game over you. Which is very polite of him. Very considerate. I have time helms, I just don't have them on me right now. Oh yeah, show me your big muscles, Specchio. Show them at me. I wanna be Rick rolled always. Gotta get Rick Robo roll in the party for that. Ice water strike. I forget how much HP this particular Specchio form has. I just thought of the Black Omen is in all timelines, but it didn't show up till after Zeal, yeah, so it's implied Magus killed the Queen originally. Oh yeah, I guess eh, but the party showing up changed it. And ruined everything. Oh yeah, if you're not prepared for Specchio, he'll whoop your ass, for sure. That was most embarrassing. Harumph. Don't make a habit of this. Here, this is for you. Healthy choice set. See, let's put Frog in the front of the party right now, and... Let's see if that... It just occurred to me, like, is he gonna turn big while I'm still in this room? I don't know. Yeah, Jason, we're doing some Chrono Trigger again. Specchio versus Gogo. -Go. Oh, from FF5? I gotta go with... I mean, I've never really... I guess it depends if we're counting new Specchio, but like, I feel like I'd give it to Gogo. Because I don't think Specchio would have the sense to just stand there. Uh, there's one stronger form of Specchio if you get to max level. I don't typically do that though, it takes forever. I usually have all the endings before I even get anywhere close to max level, so I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's give this a try. I mean, being on the lower end of your levels, for these fights isn't usually advisable, but let's try it. We'll have frog spam heal, marl spam haste, and hope it pans out. Well, I think that answers my question. No, I've never had uh, a Specchio transformation work like that. I've never thought to try to see if Specchio would change forms right in front of my eyes like that. That doesn't seem to. Alright, let's get Ayla back in the party. Team Fam. The Fam Jam team. No, you still have that. I want you to wear... I guess the white male song. Yeah, this is fine. I'll put your safe helm back on you. I'm happy. Oh, we're like right at the end of the game. We're doing... We just gotta go get the time egg and stuff. Yeah, no way you can take him out on a minimal level, yeah. Oh, Luminaire. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely need some more levels. I just thought I'd check. 
But I mean, it makes sense if he's like the last form, like to try to beat him at like level 40, he's a tall lord. Where's that healthy kid with the radical haircut? The radical dreaming haircut. This is terrible news. I have nothing to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Mega. <laughs> well, thanks. I wish I could lend a hand. Only the guru of time can help us now. Hey, where have you been? So that's your story? I just look at you now. You've become quite formidable. Eh? Guru of time, eh? Heard of him, of course, but what do you want with him? Heard he might be the one to bring our Mega back. Bring back lost loved ones is what everyone wants. Mega must be proud. To have friends like you. This guy has a nasty habit of remembering stuff right as we're leaving. Hey! Here, take this with you. Egg. Ayla hungry. Want eat. <laughs> Ayla just wants... She, she eats more than Goku does. Let us call that chrono... The chrono trigger. Where'd you come up with that name? It's pure... It is pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events, it can have a powerful attack, effect on time. Hey, Rusty. Hi, hi, Ivano. People of the chat. Hope all is well. Lurk mode. Hey, right on, Rusty. Enjoy your lurking. Hope you're well. But yes, I am. I am doing just fine. Is there an ending where you beat Lava? Oh, yeah. There is. That's like one of, one of the more different endings, if I remember right. Ask the one who made the epoch, your wings of time, how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the Chrono Trigger gives you the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more, no less. Don't forget that, as long as you keep Mega in your heart, the day you're dreaming of shall arrive. I get it, it's you, isn't it? What? The Art Gaspar, the guru of time? Well, I believe that's what they used to call me. Hey, Carlos Phillips, thanks for becoming a speedy supporter, my dude. Appreciate that. Give it up for Carlos, folks. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes and everything. Glad to have you aboard, Carlos. Hell yeah. Cheers. Yeah, finally, Mem. Hey, right on. Glad to have you aboard. Appreciate it. We got one C trigger. Yeah, chicken tens, thank you. The Nightmare, we are in... End of Time... AD. As opposed to beginning of time BC. Let us... Do I just want to go right to Death Peak? I guess I do. Or the Epoch, yes. Yeah, they should have just called the game Sea Trigger, agreed. Full, full speed ahead. So let's go back in time a little bit to the future. Hi ho, Epoch. Away. The purpose of the vertical streams, they just they show up on the short shelf, or they can, and I get way more views. And in in conjunction with that, it also gives me an excuse to play, like, every game I've ever played before. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely could use a little bit of leveling. Uh, it's fine, Reggie. <laughs> See, the chrono, tr the chrono wig better. But yeah, so, again, we didn't get the chrono clone. The Clono, as I like to call it. So if you come all the way down here without getting the Clono, you get this unique dialogue. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life, but to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. 
Need a clone? So this is what, like, put me off. So, okay, so... I made a short about this. I have a theory that Norstein Beckler in 1000 AD is actually King Zeal. And this is, like, the first piece of the puzzle. So, like, you go through the whole game, you don't get the clone. You go all the way to talk to Balthasar here. He says, need a clone? The magician Norstein Beckler... Nolstein. Beckler could whip up one in the wink of an eye. Well, how does Balthasar even know Nolstein Beckler? Like, did he not just get transported directly to 2300 AD? So, like, that makes me think, like, he must have known him somehow. Like, what, is there, like, data on Norstein Beckler somewhere in the future? Is that how he knows? Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival, and there you too shall find Beckler. So, like, I find that odd. The... It's an easy enough thing to hand wave away as just, like, a silly, you know, video game, like, video game logic. Being like, yeah, this is what you do. But, like, if you actually scrutinize this a bit... Really makes me think. Oh, yeah, I didn't... Re oh, I did realize, yeah, this revision edited his name, yeah. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, from Norstein. I think the rest of the game does say Norstein. I think that one specific part was just a typo. Serious emulator for Android with this game on. Jackal and Hyde, how you doing? Roblox, this isn't the guy from One Piece. You're correct. Oh, can we get more stuff for Luca? You're just in time. Got that one time. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a, a typo. I think it's spelled correctly in all the other parts of the game. I didn't know this game had Earthbound. It's not like an Earthbound battle background, per se, but when you're going through a time gate, it certainly looks like an Earthbound background. Hi, Speedy from 1000 AD. Hello, is Mega okay? Mom, I, you never met any of these three people, and she's just like, oh, how's my son? Adam Olafson, how you doing? I did hear about that. Uh, did you hear Katase ask fans what they would want from a Chrono remake earlier this month? I hope fans want an HD 2D and not, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, personally. But yeah, if you don't do this part, you don't even need, like, silver points. But, like, if you screw this part up, uh, the better you do, like, the less money it costs, if I remember right, so... We'll talk to old... old Becker here. Brings in a half-naked cave woman and a dude in a cape. Yeah, it doesn't blink an eye. You know, fully grown frog person. If they were to do an Earthbound remake, I would think they would do it in, like, either... I can't help but feel like they try to do something with the art style, like have it be clay or something. I don't know if I would actually want that or not. I guess I'd know if I saw it. Yeah, welcome to, yeah, Norstein Beckler's Lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. So you notice how Norstein Beckler is two hands and a face? Queen Zeal's true form when you fight her, I say true form, but like, when you fight Queen Zeal is also two hands and a face. And on the Black Omen, there's like clones in the Black Omen of all the characters. I, d I just find all this stuff real funny. Very, very coincidental. Yeah, Earthbound Remake. Oh yeah, it looks like Link's Awakening Remake. I I'd be okay with that. I only have the one cat right now, Kaizo Serious. Probably in tomorrow's episode, I'm gonna get the 11 cats. Because you can get 11 cats in this game. It takes forever, but like, I want to do it. But I mostly just wanted to show this off, so I'm like, I won't worry about the Millennial Fair stuff, yeah. Yeah, so you want a Mega Clone. Yeah, normally I'd never do this, but today I'll make an exception. Well, that's nice of you. Challenge me and I'll give you a clone. The long Yeah, the longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Yeah, take my shalom. 
If they made a big streaming, would I get 11 cats? I might. How you doing, Hunter? Hunter Fowler, how are you? Yeah, paper clay, exactly the nightmare. Yeah, it isn't paper, it isn't clay, it's paper clay. I have about 45 silver points right now. Oh, I actually need the silver points. I thought I could just play it. Well, we'll just beat up Gato a few times. He does have metal joints. If we beat him up, learn 50. Can we do the drinking game with Frog? Oh, Ayla just does it. <laughs> well, what if Ayla's not in the party? Is Robo gonna drink now? The frog didn't do it in the front. You're too much, kid. Oh, do I have to zone out? Or does it just not let me? Watch a YouTube channel with a Korean lady. Oh, she has legitimate 11. That'd be so much work. Got a clone set to everyone's house. Can't remember if you can have a cat sent to their home. Yeah, but if you can. All the all the cats stay at Chrono's house. Uh, but you can certainly send a clone to everyone's house. And maybe a Pazoyo doll or whatever they're called. Like the little doll that plays music. Maybe it won't let me... That's very interesting. So, if Ayla's in the party, I can do the drinking game. But if I have Magus Frog and Robo in the party, we can't do the drinking game. But if Ale is back in the party, we can. That's super interesting to me. I've never even thought to do this before. Who else can drink? I bet Luca can drink. I never knew this. I never just I never thought to check. Luca can definitely drink. Come on. Who are we good? Seriously? She gets hammered in 65 million. What about Maro? Interesting. That's it. I love that. That's... I'm actually kind of surprised that... <clears throat> that, like, I don't know, four of them don't have, like, a drinking animation for, like, if Chrono's not in the party. So you can't be in situations where you can't actually do the drinking game, but no, I find that really interesting. But I mean, you do have the drink off with Ayla, so you know, Ayla all the way, Ayla, once again, we're gonna steal this man's delicious chicken dinner. Nice. Might have been the doll then, yeah. If I could have sent it to their home, it was sent there, yeah, which again, you can send things through time. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how is he sending stuff through time? That's another good question. Call me God of Metal, just beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Doesn't quite, doesn't quite flow, but in the retranslation it flows better. Yeah, Robo drinks oil pop. He should. I'm surprised Luca can't drink. You can actually leave and not get your points. I just wanted to show that. So yeah, if you do that, you just don't get the points. Yeah, chug some lard tea like that. Yeah, Gato should scale with your level like Specchio. Something, at least. He should give you more silver points, too. Have, like, another form, you get 30, then another's, like, 50, last form's 100 or something. Yeah, another piece of A-list supremacy, yeah. Seems, yeah, like a callback. Yeah, totally, to the poi chugging contest. I mean, I guess Luca maybe didn't have a drinking animation, but I definitely see that tie-in with Ayla. But yeah, no, I've never tried to do that before. It's just... This is why I love these old games. Like, there's all this stuff that I'm like, what do you mean this is a thing I can do that I never knew about? Not like this is, you know, anything super crazy or anything, but like, I'm still surprised to find that out. Yeah, oil, robot, blood, yeah, Robo's a cannibal, confirmed. 
Drink some Chateau Romani. Sophia, this game is final, uh, no, Paxton. <laughs> this game's Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Scud. It's like, I feel like that's short worthy. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go again. We learn learn something new with this playthrough. Take the challenge. LR. Damn it, I forget which button the Y. I have to visualize the Super Nintendo controller. A, A, B, X, Y. Okay, got it. Y, A. Got it. Y is left. We did it. Surprise. Laugh. I forget how much each of these cost, like if you screw up. Like this can be pretty pricey, I'm fairly certain. I didn't know what that dot was to the side of Chrono when he surprised for the longest time. I was like, oh, that's like part of his belt. Come on now. 2000 G, I'll take it. Bargain. The clone will be at Mega's house. This is not Squaresoft, the game. I think most of the people that ask you what game this is are just trolling. No, like, I could see, like, you know, a young person not knowing this. You know, like a 13 year old, like, strolling in. I could see them not knowing what Chrono Trigger is. Like, even still, they might have heard of Chrono Trigger, but this, they wouldn't necessarily recognize it to see it. I don't think they're trolling. Yeah, the Kafka laugh. Yeah, Zabi. Yeah, no deal. Wait, Yeah, that's way too much. Yeah, no deal. Yeah, it's all good, Reggie. Yeah, sorry, Chrono. What if Beckler was actually more fair than, yeah. And, and just as the Queen, yeah, got Crowley Lavo, she stranded him, yeah, in time to get him out of the way. I, I still think there's like a little bit of a, like a plot hole with that because because if Norstein Beckler can send, um, you know the dolls and stuff to other time periods, I don't understand why he couldn't send himself. But like, I don't know. No, it's all good, Medibi. And, like, I think sometimes people are just looking for a reason to be like, hey, I want to chat. So, like, hey, what game is this? It's just an easy, you know, they want to interact, but, you know, there's an easy opener question. I don't mind telling people. Oh, hello, is Mega okay? Uh, yes. He be in fine health. Hope he's behaving. Tell him to be good, all right. Madame. Yes, dear. By the leave, mayhap we taketh this doll. Go right ahead, dear. You got the clone o trigger. I want to get caught up to where I am, right on. Before I stream again, this is fun. I'm glad to hear that, guys, are serious. Gives me the best reason uh, to replay. Yeah, an already replayable game. Yeah, Masterpiece, all that good stuff. Yeah, furthermore... Yeah, the casual way Gasper, yeah, just talks about Nordstein, yeah. Yeah, Nordstein's, yeah, time transcendence, like, it's no big deal, yeah, it's another huge clue. Oh, you finally beat T-Edition, hey, congrats. Give yourself a pat on the back with that. Hey, the Dog 21, how you doing tonight? Or this morning for you. Yeah, remember how you were locked out of traveling to that time period for a while? Yeah, maybe he's locked out of, maybe he just can't use... That's an interesting thing to consider. Like, maybe you can close off gates for specific people. Like, not necessarily for everybody. But yeah, we are just getting ready to go to Death Peak. 
Here's Chrono's Speedy the Cat equivalent. So yeah, we're going there right now. Also, it didn't occur to me until literally just yesterday that Death Peak is just Lavos's shell, apparently. I never realized that. Like, I guess this is literally Lavos. Like his shell. Apparently. Somehow never put that together. It's like, that explains why those, you know, the Lavos spawns, you know, his the Sin spawns show up. Um, save the game again. Let's go. John Smith, how you doing tonight? 30 some tries. Oh, Terra, Gogo, Edgar, Sabin. That's a pretty good team for T Edition. Yeah, like, I guess that, like, I forget the exact terminology, but, like, there was something that spoke. I think it was during the, the walkabout to get to the Epoch. One of the little dots said something about how this is, like, Lavos's shell. If I remember right, well, like, apparent, I guess that's the deal here. It'll solve, how do they deliver mail through time? If you exist outside time and space, all events are instant. They can be anywhere at any time at will, I think. Doing all right, John Smith. Just the rubble from where he emerged. It could be that sort of thing. Some sort of Lavos, uh... Shrapnel or... what have you. Wait, what? Oh, I have to talk- right. I have to talk to Bethel Star again. But yeah, I'd have to go read those, uh... Those lines again, but I think it's implied, yeah, that at least that's where Lavos came out of. And I assume that's why there's little Lavoses up there. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. To activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. Time has come for you to attempt Death Peak. It's the only chance you have of reviving your friend. Last program I've implanted in this creature's memory banks will help you up the mountain. Stand back. Executing program. Does the shell imply he died or just shed it like a hermit crab? I forget if they insinuated that Lavos like died after or what. Yeah, I never heard the Death Peak was his shell per se. Yeah, but would explain why Kronos' soul was there. How many times have I beaten this game? Not counting New Game Plus playthroughs, it has to be close to, like, ten times. From, like, beginning to end. So if we're counting, like, New Game Plus, I'm not even talking about, like, all the little endings in between. If we're counting, like, New Game Plus from beginning to end, probably, I don't know, probably close to 20. A lot. Did he? Lavos did fly off into space. Yeah, have a good day, John Smith. Thanks for stopping in. I must ask you for a favor. This creature has executed its program. Please let him sleep. The switch is on his stomach. I mean, you asked me so nicely. The creature sleeps beyond the flow of time. This right now wasn't New Game Plus. I need to look into that thing that I was saying about Death Peak, but like... I just never... realized that that actually had anything to do with Lavo somehow. Oh yeah, Lavos did make babies to infect other planets. I'm just not sure if it's like... If Lavos is still just kind of here making babies, or like, what? Walk when the wind dies and hide behind trees when it blows. I thought there was three of those for some reason. We did it. Alright. It's time. A Moon Gusman, 18. What's happening? Never 
thought you'd see the day. What ha What happened? I've probably played this more than Final Fantasy VII. Maybe not more hours, but like I've, I'm sure I would have beaten it more time. Ooh, we just got Ayla right on, Ayla all the way. Look. Brandon DeLeon, how you doing? Yeah, both are the best RPGs ever. I, I'm in a similar uh, mindset to that. Earthbound for the Super Nintendo is also super up there for me. But those would be my top three. Yeah, I played this game more because it's a lot shorter. And then it depends if you want to count all the... You know, the... the if you want to count the New Game Plus endings, I've, I don't know how many times I would have beaten this game by now. Close to a hundred, probably. Internet seems to agree with me. Okay, the mountain is Lavos's thickened shell. Okay. Deep, deep inside is Lavos, feasting on the Earth's life force. Okay, and the planet itself. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you for checking that, Atari DC. Continuously cranking out spawn. Yeah, both for Ayla, almost. I mean, I personally would not be opposed to that. Oh, make you want to play Earth. Gotcha, but you've been a PlayStation user since the beginning. I hear you. I had Super Nintendo before PlayStation came out, but yeah, I'm more of a, a PlayStation guy myself, if left to my own devices uh, these days. This game is available, like, I don't know if you do any PC gaming, but this game is also available on Steam. I would like to see Sony actually have a port of this game. You know, on like PS5 or something. Yeah, creepy to think you're climbing around on a shell. Yeah, cool idea. Well, it's funny how it came up because I was just complaining last night. Maybe not complaining, but like, I just when you go inside Lavos, I was like, I don't know. I feel like there could have been more you could have done inside Lavos, but it's like, well, if you're already, if you already have Lavos as a dungeon, then how much more of a dungeon does he need to be? Oh, beat it on mobile, right? Oh, oh older brother pawn the SNES. Ah, and Sega. <laughs> Way back. Beat the game after 30 years three times. Okay, right on. On the mobile. I mean, mobile's pretty good for that sort of thing, too. Hey, you're, my pleasure, Reggie. I'm glad you're... I'm glad you find some comfort. Uh, hanging out here. Definitely hope you feel better, my dude. Oh, look at the little Lavos. It's adorable. Don't attack it. I think you might want to steal from a shell. Maybe. I'm going to try in a second. I thought you could for some reason. Guess not. Or it's like a rare steal. Not gonna try that again. Yeah, I definitely got a good crew here, Reggie. Thank you for being here. I vote for Alo mode. Triple kickle. What happens if you kill Magus instead? Uh, you, well, like, he dies, obviously, but, like, after that, you just get, um... You get his amulet that he carries around. And the game just sort of proceeds as normal, but you just, you don't have Magus. Oh, it's the... Okay, so the one in the Black Omen is different, I see. The mobile version game. Yeah... I didn't play the mobile version, but I played the Steam port, and it's a little... it's suspect. 
Steal from both the shell and the head and the black omen. Okay. Yeah, what if Lavos is a whole planet you could explore? Then your goal of the planet is destroy the core of the heart of Lavos. Then escape the shell. Yeah. The self-destruction sequence. Super Metroid style. Or you like, you wind up going to like, you know, the ground zero Lavos, like the grandpappy Lavos, who's grown to be an entire planet. Basically what you said. Yeah, get some water and some food into your Reggie, you should feel better. 120 tech points? Good god, I didn't remember getting so many tech points from this thing. A giga arm. 120 tech points, goodness me. I still haven't played the DS version of this game. I have it. I played it for like an hour, I just didn't get into it. For some reason. Yeah, what was the original Lavos? Yeah, how has it evolved? Yeah, or created. Yeah, that could be a whole thing on its own. Shaky Johnson, how you doing? Isn't there a way to defeat only the shell and leave the little Lavos face? You probably could, but it's fairly dangerous. I've never tried, personally. But I imagine, probably. Oh, I bet this part on the with the wind would be hell on mobile, I could imagine. Frog with the double hit for magic enemies weapons coming in clutch. Yeah, I feel asleep. Colton Phelps, welcome to the chat. Can you TLDR explain this game to me? Uh, it's a game about time travel. You're trying to stop like this planet hopping parasite from destroying your planet because you find out that your planet gets destroyed 999 years in the future this was like after you started popping around in time but that's sort of what is your motivation to continue jumping through time so yeah it's mostly like a time travel story yeah boy saves the world through time travel Hey, you're my pleasure, Reggie. I'm gonna have to disagree to disagree. What about the little Lavos face? Some scientist in advanced civilization lived on a dying planet and he created something that could affect the planet's life force and it went horribly wrong. Yes, as those things do. You've been watching, yeah, one of the best RPGs haven't already. Yeah, thank you. Hey, my pleasure, Brandon. One of my all-time favorites. Good old respawning, respawning... I guess they're like a clam, I don't know. Climbing up Death Peak. Getting to... Trying to get her main character back. And go back down through the front. Yeah, like that. Like this. I think we got all these shelters. The Helter shelters. Hey, Xantu, yeah. Sup? Oh yeah, Lavos might be one of my favorite things about this game. They could have had a mustache twirling villain. Yeah, but a planet devouring parasite is such a cool idea. Yeah, I don't really give that as much credit, but like... But yeah, they just went ahead and were like... Like, Lavos still clearly has, like, motivation, but it's more... Because Lavos doesn't really speak our language, it's just different. 
It's not like, yeah, someone twirling their mustache for the sake of being, e being evil. Lavos is just like, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go find food now. Turns out you're the food. Uh, tough. Tough for you. Yeah, great neutral villain. Yeah. It's like relatable in that sense. Maybe not relatable, but like... Lavos is a pest, you gotta deal with him. Yeah, nothing personal, kid. Yeah, exactly. Nothing personal, I'm just hungry. I wanna make lots of babies. Aw, isn't this isn't it cute? Adorable. Ayla charging, <coughs> charging up for a triple kick. Oh, I should see how the colors pop. We can oh, component. Hey, Wind Mage, how you doing? Yeah, it always surprised me how good this game is. Yeah, Lavos, yeah, Force of Nature, yeah, simply put. I mean, yeah, maybe. With all the time paradoxes in Chrono Trigger. Maybe Lavos came from the future again. Yeah, future Earth. Time traveled to the past and hit the Earth again. I mean, maybe. 120 tech points, oh baby. Dark bomb. Sounds dirty. Yeah, Frog's more like a, a slightly physically leaning, like... You know, jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type of character. I mean, at least some of his weapons do, like do extra damage to stuff that's mostly vulnerable to magic. Which can be situationally useful. Hey, we made it. Uh-oh. Yeah, Lavos, yeah, the anime version of Gaius. It's a way to look at it. Gary P2. Yeah, Lavos is the hero. Yeah, it's trying to prevent the end of time. We got some water and some nachos. Oh, with ghost pepper salsa. There you go. Hey, Captain Bellamy. Yeah, got some Chrono Trigger on tap tonight. Yeah, Chrono's neither good or evil. Just does what's in its nature. Yeah, like if... If the humans figured out a way to feed Lavos and have him leave the planet alone... Lavos wouldn't give two shits either way. He'd be like, okay, cool. I'm eating. Cool. Push the shell. Climb the shell. Despite that doll being there, it took me way too long to realize. You know, push the shell, climb the shell. Dark Helm, does that do what it sounds like it should do? Yeah. It does. I'm kind of, like, I'm not surprised they have, like, Lavos babies here. I'm a little surprised there isn't, like, you know, a teen angst Lavos that's, like, not quite full Lavos size, but bigger than these ones. I mean, I don't know, I guess it takes 400 years for a Lavos to grow this big. I don't know. Yeah, feed it a Lavos size x -lax. Yeah, the whole Gygus concept was just super neat, how it was like... You, you get to fight the battle background. Because I know I wasn't the only one that was expecting Gygus to basically look like one of the Mook enemies, but, like, with extra eyes or something. Like, ah, uh, nope. Or, like, a Starman or something like that. Ah, uh, nope. I mean, he was in, you know, Mother 1, Earthbound Beginnings. Like, that's kind of more what you would expect. But they're like, no, no. We're going to traumatize some kids. Codester Cox, how you doing? Hey, and you remembered the song. 
Lavos. Lavos. After I eat, I'm gonna have a nap. I'll tell you when I'm off. Hey, sounds good, Reggie. Yeah, push the shell. Climb the shell. Don't give him the stick. Oh, come on. What do you... Stop that. <laughs> Slides down. Lavos is land on most planets without incident. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess it was just random chance he came to Earth. Oh, never beat this game. How far did you go? So this is the summit of Death Peak. Hey, Speedy the Cat. Hey. Beauty the good boy. Yeah, couldn't Magus just fly up there? I suppose he could. Yeah, speedy cam activated. Activating speedy mode. Not sleepy, but I I relate to that. Thank you for singing me my favorite lullaby. Lavos, Lavos by Lavos. The song that affects space and time itself. Now I went to sleep 20 minutes ago. I'm glad you're having a good sleep, Codester Cox. Uh, continue to do so. Hey, thank you for the speedy emoji, Space Lord. You know, speedy, our greatest hero. Yeah, wish we had more villains like this. Yeah, don't have a master plan, they're just a thing that does. Yeah, it's usually like some sentient being turning into like, you know, the planet-eating creature. But no, in this game, it's like, no, no, I'm just gonna... You have some people that try to use Lavos, like, for their advantage, but like, ultimately it's like, no, no, Lavos is gonna Lavos. I mean, yeah, Sin was sort of like that. It's probably like the closest to that that I can think of off the top of my head. It's probably happened in some other games. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah, I love the concept of villains that don't have a deep reason for being bad. Yeah, like some dude that's just like, I like being bad, or organism that's just hungry. Yeah. yeah, the latter example, yeah, being speedy, exactly. Hey, Brian Warlock, yeah, froggy guy right here. I was just about to say, like, Kafka in Final Fantasy VI, he's just... He's mustache-twirlingly evil, but, like, to such an over-the-top degree that, like... It's hard to not... It's hard for me to not like him to some degree. No, obviously you don't want a guy like that on, in your world. But, like, for the sake of a story, he's just, like, so ridiculously evil. Right, yeah, also depends whether... Yeah, I suppose, eh? Whether you consider Jenova or Sephiroth the main villain of Summer. Yeah, write a parody of Good Night Mood, but it's Good Night Lavos. We ask for your strength, thee who feareth the night, and stand against the darkness. Dependence reacting. There. Well, I mean, yeah, doing that thing with the uh, figuring out that you couldn't do the drinking mini game unless you have Ayla in the party. That'll make a great 11th hour of short for me to make because I don't have one for this weekend. Kefka was experimented on. He definitely was. But, like, I don't remember that ever really being, like, a motivation for Kefka being evil. You know, outside of, yes, he was experimented on. He was just nuts. But I don't think he was, like... I mean, I guess he was maybe trying to get revenge. I don't know. I'd have to pay closer attention with that in mind.
Uh, disappointed with the final battle of sin. Yeah, because the core, yeah, it was just that giant bug. It shattered. Uh-oh. Tis folly to have traveled so far. Yeah, fun theory, yeah, Baram is... Got oh, yeah, I've heard that before. Clyde, um... Shadow's, uh... Partner. No sadness. Ayla lonely, too. Sad, Mega. No comeback. Pineapple on nachos? I don't have a visceral feeling about it. I kind of have no opinion on that matter. I'm not a huge pineapple guy in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've definitely heard about it. Oh. Maester Seymour in Final Fantasy. The Maester is a Germanic word for a oh, skilled practitioner of a craft. Oh, is it really? Ayla's name's taken from a novel about prehistory? Oh. Mega giveth an answer. Ah, I guess we don't. It's an eclipse. We're gonna have one of the. I should have played this on the day of the eclipse while the eclipse was happening. Damn it. Damn it. I could have revived Chrono in, like, ten days. Like stone statues, Taziri. No, Taziki. It's a sauce. Only us move. A time freeze. Never thought it was possible without Gilbo. What a pity. Yeah, if Magus is in your party, and you talk to Magus, he says, what a pity. We weren't able to change a thing. But I mean, Frog doesn't react to Frog, and Ayla doesn't react to Ayla. But... Anyway, we'll, we'll do that. Clan of the Cave Bear? I couldn't tell you. Why on the path of totality? Say what? Or near it? We're, we're almost... We're really close to doing, like, the final side quest business for the game. Without further ado, good night, Chrono. Good night, Lavos. Good night, Frog. Good night, Ayla. Puts my mind in a fog. Good night, Chrono. Good night, Magus. If you want to call, be sure to page us. I definitely butchered the song, but hey, thank you for singing to us, Coaster Cox, while you were asleep at the same time. Hey, Alex, welcome back. Hope you're well. Oh, yeah, no problem, Kaizo Serious. Yeah, the hunting rage in 65 million BC is a, a very good early game grinding spot. Let's exchange the clone for Mega. There, we did it. Should take Shallow while we're at it. No, okay. This is an eerie place. Let us withdraw quickly. Harv, let me go. I'm not sending messages anymore. Well, if you're asleep, why do I have to let you out of my basement, Codester Cox? Wasn't a bad novel, but a book is a big commitment. Yeah, so I have to read it. Yeah, like from the jump. Doing good. I'm doing well, Alex. Thank you for asking. Lee Showerin, how are you? How have you been? Hurry, we take Mega. <clears throat> Save the hellos for later. We've got work to do. If I want to collect all 11 cats, I don't think I'll be beating this tomorrow. But I mean, I could fast... It, I could and I might fast forward for that. It takes forever. Yeah, easy new grind and you had to be at level 16. That girl, your hamster ate your dog. Oh my heavens. One hungry hamster. Yeah, Parasite Eve, yeah, based on a novel, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I'm dressed as the character I'm playing as. Yeah, you know, Harv, I do appreciate the gluten-free options you've granted me. That Stockholm Syndrome is no joke, too. Well, I mean, water is gluten-free, so I thought that would work out for you. I'm glad to hear that it did. Hey, thanks, Alex. I I try. Quick, well, time is frozen. Spray, yeah, spray paint lavas. Hey, thanks, Paxton. Mega back, mega okay. 
I'm doing I'm doing mega okay, all right. Hey, thanks, Lee. I usually like to shave for my chrono outfit, but like I just wasn't willing to part with the beard this time around. Yeah, still managed to keep my bulk going. Yeah, I've had eleven cats, IRL. It would smell so it wouldn't matter how much cat litter I had, it would smell so bad in here. Hey, Brownies, hope you're doing well. Turn in. Sorry, I haven't been to too many streams. No worries. Glad you can pop in when you can. I hope you're doing all right, at least. Nothing... Nothing earth-shattering, I hope. Thou art a lucky lad. Thy friends be loyal and true. He's back. I also love how this whole... Once this whole rigmarole is done, you don't need to have Chrono in the party anymore. I, it's almost like a subversion of expectations where it's like, okay, I have to be Chrono because he's the main character. It's like, no, Chrono just has to be in the party so he can die. And now he doesn't have to be in the party anymore if you don't want him to be. I do want him to be, but you, you don't have to. Yeah, Chrono shave. Chrono shave. hey -o. Pineapple on your notch is a nice reprieve. Oh yeah, I guess if you are uh, got the ghost pepper, it helps neutralize the, the spice, does it? Doing great. No, I'm doing well, Brownies. Thanks for asking. Yeah, now you can tangibly affect the timeline. That pine sawdust cat litter works pretty well. I use the Costco stuff. I find it works just fine for my my singular kitty cat. Let's talk to Gasper. So, looks like you were successful. Don't thank me, I didn't do a thing. I just gave you a place to begin. If you really want to thank me, make me a member of your t I, I would. By the way, the Wings of Time has come looking for you. Seems to have a heart and mind of its own. Wish to fight Lavos, correct? Hey, no worries, Carlos. Hope you're having a good time. Reminds me, I'm gonna start a blog where I complain about things that accept me. I settle on the name Inflamed Cox, what do you think? I don't think there's any problem with that name at all, Coaster Cox. You should go for it. We have three cats, IRL. I am allowed to have two cats in this apartment, but like, I think one is... I don't think there's enough space to like, comfortably have two cats. Yeah, you can definitely nest for it. I heard you can use pine, uh, pellet stove pine pellets as a cheaper alternative to traditional kitty litter. I've tried using that. I forget why I stopped. There was a reason why I stopped. Hey, Kona One, thank you, thank you. Many paths lay open to you. You may use that bucket. I'll use that bucket, all right. Or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Well, there's the Black Omen, which floats in the sky above your world. Lavos is somehow connected with it. Hey, that's good, Reggie. Get some food into you. Pellet stove, pine pellets, cheaper than litter. I forget. How could fuel be cheaper than sand? It's up to you to decide when and where to... No, this will definitely be, like, at least two more episodes. Because if we're going to do the Black Omen three times, and we're going to... In addition to all the side stuff and get 11 cats. That's going to be two more streams easy. Before we even do New Game Plus stuff. And now you must realize you're the only ones who stand a chance against them. However, you will not be alone. A vague glimpses of events, people, and places that will empower you. Fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy maintains an evil hideout. It's task be done in the future where machinery originated. It's a very special stone that can shine its light on each generation from the distant past to the far future. Use the pellets, they're a pain in the ass in their own way, yeah. Stepping on them, that might have been part of it, yeah, stepping on them when they're scattering the floors, like stepping on Legos, yeah. yeah why's your kitty litter all over the floor? Wait, what? Food? I missed something. Said he passed since he was young. He made a great game. Who, who are we talking about? I need to watch my macros. Can I have my phone back to trap nutrients and stuff? No, no, you're gonna you're gonna use it again to call those people. So we can't be having that, Coaster Cox. 
It's the ghost of a lofty knight slain by Magus in the Middle Ages who haunts the present. An object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person fast. Just as you touch the lives of every life form you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. Just the one time. One time too many. Fail to live up to your potential and you will never win. Sorry that I must simply witness the coming spectacle from my vantage point here. Well, like, Akira Toriyama did the artwork for this game. And, like, he, he did uh, recently pass a uh, March. I think it was March 1st. Thought everyone else with, uh, around the project was still kicking them. I plan to play probably Delta Traveler on uh, Friday. So soon. Oh, was it ever officially explained by the translator? Who the person close to you who needs help was 100%? Yeah, Luca's mom. Yeah, it does make sense. Oh, Delta Travel. It's a Deltarune fan game. There's only, I think, three chapters of it done so far, but I could probably get at least two nights of uh, streams out of it. JP Flock, what happened? Yeah, EB Hollow's End. I could do that. Shadow Splitter, how you doing? Why do you have that record on repeat anyway? Because you love the song so much, remember? Dark Maniac. This is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, the draw. Yeah, no, that's right, Lee. Yeah, I was, I was pretty devastated when I heard. Because I was a huge Dragon Ball fan, Dragon Quest fan. I liked a lot of stuff that he was involved in. It. Hey, thanks, Iceman. I want to go... Well, let's go to the Epoch. What are we doing? I want to get the Son of Sun. Should maybe bring Luko along for this. Yeah. Or the Epoch. Full speed of... Full, full speed of head. Yeah, ooh. Chrono did the face that he makes. There's probably a few other, like, just Earthbound rock. Like, I'm gonna do Mother 2 of Deluxe eventually, but once it's, like, com like fully completed. Probably some other ones I could dabble with. It's not here, is it? I think it's right here. No, this is the Sun Palace. No, I haven't done the Geno Dome yet. Oh, the Son of... The Son of Sun has black mail to steal. That's odd, isn't it? Like, you would think the Son of Sun would have, like, red mail, if anything. I mean, may as well grab it. At least the Geno Dome. One of the coolest sheet music ever. The awesome chord. Is this the... Again, the Sun Palace? Wait, what? Oh, I... Damn it, I was at the right one. Well, fine, then. I've been hearing my castle town from Delta. I've been listening to the Spamton Neo song a lot lately. Let's at least okay. It would make sense to bring Luca along for this fight, but then I'm gonna try it this way. You're gonna absorb fire hits. They're probably gonna be fine anyway. Red vest. And frog can just live his frog life. I got no yeah, no, that's fine. I guess we're good outside of that. Found great sheet music for him. Keith Plots. I love this is, this is my endgame party, Chrono, uh, Frog and Ayla. How hard is this game anyway? It's not too bad. I've definitely played harder RPGs. Like if you if you don't prepare at all, like you'll get stopped in a few places, but like it's not too bad. Ooh. 
Roulette Shuffle. Yeah, Sun Thing's all fire. Blackmail. Oh yeah, we good. We good. Just knock Frog out, we'd probably be fine. Uh, this one. So this fight's kind of like roulette. You just gotta... Gotta pick a flame and hope you hit the right one. If you hit the right one, you damage the Sun Thing. And it does like 200 damage or so. Son of Sun, yeah, that's a homophone. You watch your move. Yeah, a couple difficulty checks, but if you fight most every battle as it comes along, yeah, you'll be ready. It's also, like, I don't want to say it's, like, easy to break, but, like, there is ways you can definitely tilt stuff in your favor pretty aggressively early on. I seriously hit four out of five of the wrong ones. You have to be joking me. Well, yeah, if you're to play this game on, like, top speed with the ATV meter... Uh, that's... that would be a lot. That would be tough. Unfortunately, no, this isn't on Switch Online. Wolves Baseball 9, how you doing? Is this game harder than Earthbound or about the same difficulty? That's not as, like, as easy of a yes and no question as it, it should be on the surface. Because, like, once you, like, there's parts in Earthbound that are tough, but, like, once you know Earthbound, it's not hard at all. I'd say the difficulty in Chrono Trigger is probably more consistent than Earthbound's difficulty. But for a first-time player, I have a hard time really thinking what would be actually harder. Well, yeah, there is that, how Earthbound has limited inventory. That is a factor. Because, like, there is a certain extent of if you're well-prepared in Chrono Trigger, you can just kind of throw items at stuff and stay afloat. I would be shocked if, Earth, if uh, Nintendo actually added Mother 3 to anything in the West. I would love to see it. But... Czar John II, can I speak in Caesar Cipher? Um, no. It didn't spin around, did it? Nope. I have half a mind to play Mother 3 in Japanese. Like, do, like, I streamed it recently. I have half a mind to stream it again, but on the Japanese Switch Online. It's not so much that it's hot in here. I have a hot cat on me as well. And, like, this outfit is, like, I'm more covered up than I would normally be streaming. Like, this hair doesn't breathe well. But it's more because I have a warm kitty cat on my lap right now. He's warming me up. But no, I'm okay. I'm not going to overheat or anything. Hey, Brownie, sorry to hear the... Thank you for the encouragement, though. Oh. Oh, we did it. Actually, went pretty well. Yeah, it's the hair. It's not too cold out today. In my neck of the woods. Never played a Mother Earthbound. I don't know if I'd like it, but if they released the collection for the Switch, I'd get a physical copy. Ancient Sunstone, but it's lacketh luster. Perhaps the sun can rekindle it, but how long will it take? But the Moonstone. I find a game like Chrono Trigger is more, like, visually exciting. 
as far as the battles go. Not to say that there isn't a lot of visual diversity in Earthbound with, like, the battle backgrounds and stuff, but, like... I can understand why people wouldn't like Earthbound. Like, the, the way the battle system works doesn't bother me any, but, like... I get why it doesn't appeal to some. Yeah, at least, yeah. Mario RPG on Switch, yeah, even though at least it's a remake. Yeah, Speedy is a good kitty. Oh, gotta go back to filing down. Yes, I mean... Yes, back to sleep codes, Sir Cox. I am glad to hear that. Enjoy continuing to sleep. I hope you have a good one, Codester. Thanks for stopping in. Oh yeah, we can we can show a bit of Speedy here. It's all in my lap here. All sprawled across me. Sleeping like one does. And my cat claw. Blanket protection. Bro is slumped. Uh, he's all, uh... He's all cuddled up here. Hey, thank you for the speedy emoji, folks. Tis be the sp this be the spot, tis warm. Leave the moonstone, yes. How long shall we leave it hither? What do you mean? I would love for uh, Skies of Arcadia to have, like, a modern... Like, at least have it on Steam or something. It's crazy to me that there's not a modern way to play Skies of Arcadia. Like, the GameCube version's, like, the most... Uh... Recent one. Christ, I forget. I think you get the jerky from 600. From the town that Toma is from. Yeah, Speedy sleeping with two mice right there. That's how sound asleep he is. I think the turkey's like here somewhere. Is it literally just here? No, I don't think so. Maybe it's just the market. I know you buy the jerky for 90 or uh, I think it's 9900 somewhere. Oh, I remember now. It's in 1,000. It's the place where the piano's at. Yeah, thanks, KJ. I think more specifically, this one, right? The best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. I let some go for 9,900 G. Yes. Must be really hungry. Here you go. I want another one. Man, man's got talent. Stop by and check it out. The piano man. Play a, play a sad one, Joe. I should see my cat sleep. She sleep sitting leaned up. That's funny. Against the chair. Yes, Speedy's playing this game telekinetically while he's asleep. Something upbeat, please. Johnny's music. Yeah. We're at the festival. What fools? Yeah, jerky for 9900 Yeah, al Yeah, almost real life prices. Close, though. Yeah, but um, It'd be funny if it wasn't so true. Is this also considered a snail stop? I forget. Oh, the ticket office. So now we want to go back to 600. Just give it to the hungry family. Speedy is the best party member. I can't argue with him. Helping me out big time. Here, I think. The elder's house. See, you have some jerky. You sell it for... I'll give it to you. You're giving it away? Thought there are no kind people left in the world. You can bet my children are going to learn the value of sharing. Haha. -ha. We did it. For our own selfish gain. I mean, we are using it to save the world, so it's not that selfish. 
Hey, Andrew, thank you. Thank you for saying the streams hit me in a very personal, nostalgic place. Thank you for your streams. Hey, my pleasure. Glad to be a service. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, yeah, yours, uh, yeah. You gotta have your, well, of course. Of course. Yeah, I can team up, though. Oh, for sure. Wish my husband were a little less generous. Share and share alike, help the needy, think about making- Oh, do I- I actually have to check in the future, I guess. Before he mysteriously has it, or maybe I can check now. And it will just magically be there. Yeah, Kona. MQ, how's it going? Yeah, any cat, yeah, his best party member. I can't really argue with that. The Moonstone is gone. Has, has someone from this time taken it? Yeah, you at least need to go far enough in the future that it's gone. I forgot about that. Then get the Sunstone business. We can get some, what, sunshades I think Luca can make for us? So far at least. Interested in the Moonstone? Well, someone simply left it. Who would have just left it here? Seems important to you folks. Why don't you just take it? Unless it was Toma. Maybe it was Toma. Hey, thanks, MQ. Glad you love the vid. Love the colors and markings. Yeah, Speedy's all mackerel tabby, I think is the term. Oh yeah, Speedy will kick and make sounds when you sleep in sometimes. He'll, he'll like, kind of be twitching a little bit. He doesn't make a lot of sounds when he's sleeping, but sometimes he does. He'll snore from time to time. Yeah, Ayla's cat lady. She is part cat. She at least acts like she's part cat, which I'm not mad about. Like, I mean, you could pet a cat lady and that's not weird, right? Yeah, chasing those meese, exactly. Here we go, tis a basic. What might Luca create with it? She must see this. Oh, we have to... Luca... Come here. Luca, this. This really is the sunstone with this energy. I can make an incredible weapon. Let's get it back to my house quickly. Yeah, Speedy's a little Snorlax. Yeah, sunstone glows bright enough to see it from flying. Guys, just keep it from home. Yeah, it doesn't go blind or anything from looking at it. Modify the sunstone to extract its energy. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. Good job, Luca. Proud of you. And it's finished. You're finished, Luca. Oh, I'm stuck here. Yeah, until Speedy wakes up, I'm stuck here. Oh, the I forgot about the Wonder Shot. It does, like, kind of random damage. Sometimes I amaze myself. Take a look, Luca. I borrowed a bit of the Sunstone to create something nifty. It's sunshades. Sunshades, I think, do something that's really good that the game doesn't explain at all. Ups attack power. I forget exact like, it doesn't look like it ups attack power, but it, it definitely does... I have to look it up, I forget. But the sun chains, and I think more like the prism specs are like, really good. I mean, I guess where the wonder show. Yeah, damage can vary. Very much, though. Yeah, speedy, sleepy. Yeah, can the cat get a pet for me, please? I'll try to... Try to do it and not wake him up. Oh, boy. There. There you go, speedy. You're a good fella. Oh, maybe that's a sunshades increase all damage by an eighth. 
prism specs increase all all damage by a fourth. Yeah, that must be a like rather than like just a increasing like attack, it's like also magic attack. I used to have a cat that slept at the window uh, where the sun was. Oh, those those cats love sleeping under the sun. We have about an hour and change. What else can we do? Maybe we could do the Geno Dome. Might be uh, might have enough time for that. There's no way we're doing the frog the frog quest. We could do Magus. Uh, the Magus area, too. We'll start with the Geno, though. And if we have time, we'll go to Ozzy's castle after. Unless I'm forgetting something else. It's, like, kind of quick. Yeah, Ozzy. Yeah, passion, pain, and demon slaying. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, cats love them windows. Ghost of a Lofty Knight. Yes. Object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a raid. We have to do that too, but not right now. Yeah, pet that kitty. Yeah, I, I just pet the kitty. Pet him again. Now that he's like kind of expecting it, I guess. These trilliopods eating Dorito. T three trilliopods eating Dorito ticks. This is. Dorito chips, is this a live cat? Can it is right now, but he's uh, he is sleeping. Wouldn't start with the Geno Dome, it's the best power leveling method in the game, remember? I don't know how much power leveling I'm gonna do. But yeah, we can, we can do Magus instead, that's fine. But yeah, if you go through like the conveyor belt or whatever, that's the best place to level. I'm just anticipating when the stream's gonna end, and I don't want to, like, bite off more than I can chew, is all. Yeah, red new or bust. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna grind for the red new, that'll be more, like... ...for during New Game Plus. I forget if I have to bring Magus along with me, but I'm going to. For this. Yeah, you definitely got to be careful about that with the, with the puppers. Yeah, releasing those demonic sounds from deep within me. Yeah, cause Speedy's so cute. Arctic, how you doing? Yeah, I needed that. Hey, you're welcome. Red, blue, red, red, blue. I think it was. I don't want the black, but I forget. Maybe I'll give. Maybe we'll blackmail, uh... Magus. Oh, I have two blackmails. Yeah, I literally just got them, so why not? Oh yeah, oh yeah! Yeah, it sucks that their items count as story items and don't carry over. It's a new game plus. These three? Come on in. This is the great Aussie's place. What the? Whoa. You're, you're the great Magus. You're doing well, Aussie. The nerve. Deserting your fellow mystics to serve those humans. You're a traitor. You're not our king. Why did you desert us? Why did you desert us? Does, can Square just... Does it, no, that's right desert us. Isn't it? You wouldn't spell it like dessert. Like the food. Never mind. Oh, Speedy, he's about seven, probably. Around seven, I want to say. He's lived with me for as long as I've been streaming, so, like, that was 2017. He mi I might have had him since 2016. I actually forget. It's been a hot minute. You gotta go, but have a good stream. Alright, Brownies, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Yeah, dessert, yeah, is correct. 
I think it was just like how it was done in past tense. It's like dessert. We you were deserted, but it's like actually spelled correctly, just to make it more confusing. Yeah, insert that dessert. You pesky low down good for nothings. I chirped about that in Final Fantasy Rebirth as well, but that might have also been the proper usage. I'd have to check the tapes. Yeah, go ahead, you have a donut. You have a dessert. I learned that, like, I don't usually make that mistake, because, like, dessert has two S's, because, you know, you always get up to get more dessert, so you have to get up to get the extra S. Flee. Heat Wave. This is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. You sent for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Magus, who'd you bribe to get in here? Traders like you deserve a beating. Oh, great, Ozzy, stand back and let me take care of these Cretans. I'm counting on you, Flea. Oh, yeah, I get money from a membership, Carlo. Definitely. I think this is the area where there's a save point enemy. Oh, yeah, that's in the, the other Magus castle. We fought them a few nights ago. I find that enemy so perplexing. That it just exists in that form. I guess we have to wait for the the main fight with all three of them before we can steal from them. With the flea vest, the Aussie pants, and the slasher too. When I say Tuesday, do I say Tuesday or Tuesday? I think I say Tuesday. But it depends how my how my Canadian accent sounds, eh? Oh, just you wait. We'll teach you a lesson. Oh, is that actually what happened, Brian? The code was broken and the devs forgot to fix it? Is that actually... Because, like, I've never... I've never heard any confirmation about that one way or the other, and I'm super curious. Do you know where I can, like, read up more about... Like, I really want... more solid confirmation. Because I'm all ears about them. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll... I'll leave them. I'll let sleeping cats lie, Reggie. Yeah, Douglas, yeah. Yeah, today, you know, I've been cosplaying as Chrono, but today I'm cosplaying as Chrono Scott. Howdy. You're nothing but common thieves. Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. Yeah, this, this whole dungeon's, like, comic relief. And away we go! You know, it's all good, bro. Like, I wanna... I wanna see if I can find... I believe you, I just wanna read up more about it, because I've been fascinated by that enemy for years. And I thought they did it on purpose. Hey, Lord Drip, this is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Hey, thanks, Kaizo, serious. Yeah, because, like, I've mentioned this a few times this stream, but for some reason, I always imagine Ozzy having the voice of Jesse the Body Ventura, former wrestler and governor of Minnesota. I know I'm the only person that thinks that, but, like... But when I watch other people play Chrono Trigger and they, narr and they narrate Ozzy, it always throws me off. So I'm like, that's not Ozzy's voice. You still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Slash. Yeah, this is to show you, yeah, hope, yeah, I guess so, yeah. How hopeless Ozzy is without Magus. You rang? Slash. Don't let me down. Yeah, we did the whole part with Robo replanting the land uh, last episode. I have to go now. See you later. All right, Lee. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Yeah, get your speedy emotes ready. Yeah. Ooh, speedy's like having some dreams, I think. First, I didn't want to slice and dice you, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? Ah, uh, yes.
Amari. How you doing? Hello. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't find more documentation about that myself. About the save point. Because that's at least something for me to go on. It's like, okay, I can try to find an article. Perfect. Doing alright, Amari. I could be tireder. Oh, the main battle here. Oh, has a multi-targeted shadow attack. Okay, and a single tar targeted fire attack. Okay. So probably wouldn't be the worst idea for me to put... Ouch! Probably wouldn't be the worst idea for me to put, uh, you know, two blackmails on. In that case. And I mean, Mega's already got the red mail, so... Oh yeah, Speedy's doing all of this. Every, every last of them. Come on, sweethearts. Don't you want the treasure box? <coughs> Don't you want the treasure box? Probably filled with goodies. Found the treasure. Oh no, that poor innocent imp. Yeah, thank you, Amari. I, I like Speedy too. He's a, he's a cozy dude. Ozzy's stumped. Yeah. Out of here. But yeah, if you go here, there's a bunch of... This is like all Magus' best stuff, I think. Got a Doom Sickle, which is a delicious flavor of ice cream. Got a Gloom Home. And a Gloom Cape. And a tab, probably a magic tab, yeah. Entire stream is actually in Speedy's head. It's the way I, the way I prefer things. Yeah, let's equip the Doomsicle. Yeah, attack up. Oh, I forgot that was even a thing. Attack up when an ally has fallen. Protect status. I mean, that's not worth it. I'm not going to equip this right now because I want the shadow absorption. I don't really want your silver stud. I mean, I guess so. Maybe I could sunshades. Let's give you the sunshades, actually. So Magus can be even cooler. Yeah, that one dude too. We got the speedy stream going on tonight. Yeah, the whole entire stream is actually just in Speedy's head. This whole stream is just Speedy's dream. Well, I should consider myself blessed. Got one full other. But yeah, you can just take that hit if you want, but like. But also, you know, don't. Why would you do that to yourself? You need to be a little careful. I don't have like a group heal. Oh, he's stretched and is continuing to sleep. His head down. Doom cycle is a thousand out of ten snack. Yeah, Magus is a great guy, feeding everyone sick great desserts. Hehe, <laughs> not so fast, friends. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Aussie pants, flea vest, slasher too. These unique items make us invincible. Junus Salin, welcome to the chat. How you doing? Yeah, seduce the pants off Aussie, Ayla. There we go. Pants seduced off. You have a bunch of Lapisuses, so just use them. Just use two, maybe. For over 200, I'll use... Oh, that's not... We're fine. We're fine, that shadow damage right there. Oh, yeah, Speedy's great cuddly, dude. Hey. Yeah, welcome, Junus. Glad you're doing well. Obviously, Julia, welcome to the chat. Yeah. Chewing on a traffic cone. Wonder how many hot construction workers have touched this. Uh, a, a lot, I'm sure. Probably not the most sanitary thing, but I'm also not your dad, so. And if I am your dad, why are you up this late? You're grounded. Go to bed. You have school in the morning. 
Yeah, he would be ripping dude's clothes off. Yeah, for real. Ripping his pants right off. There, we got all of the things, so let's just keep it up. We should maybe Dino Tail with her. Too late. But dad, that bedtime is two minutes away. It's work, not school. Excuses, excuses. Yeah, we got, uh, yeah, Flea from the Chili Peppers, Slash from Guns N' Roses, and Ozzy from, you know, Black Sabbath and Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, three baddies are named after condiments in the Japanese version. How you doing, cool gamer kid? What's up? Hey, deadpan, thank you. Speedy being all sleeping on my lap. Usually don't keep the camera on him for this long, but like, what's the harm? Watch my sleeping roommate. Doing all right, cool gamer. Bad impulse. Speedy snoring. I don't know if you heard the. Tail spin. Well, never mind them. No, it's fine. Still good. Uh, this game's called Chrono Trigger Cool Gamer. It came out in, in the Super Nintendo in 1995. It's one of my all time favorites. Oh no, Reggie. Alright, get that mess cleaned up. There we go. What in the... But I love this game to death. You can't see it right now, but I'm wearing the... part the uh, main character's outfit. Yeah, all names are fictitious and do not re represent evil persons. Real evil persons. Yeah, Speedy. Getting all the blood rush into your head, buddy. Ryan Gosling, thank you. Speedy is a, an adorable fella, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Oh yeah, I'd recommend this game big. The only thing is, is the only like way to play the game right now, if you don't want to emulate, is uh, through Steam. You might be able to play it on mobile too. Really. But no, if you can track it down, it's if you like RPGs, I could recommend it highly. All right, Amari, thanks for stopping in. Catch you next time. See you streaming. Sounds good. Have a good sleep. I'll see you then. Magus, you lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil. You used me. Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It's the sound of the Reaper. I can't lose. What would become of my mystics? I must win. Alright, let's uh, do this again. Ozzy. I love how he does this next to levers and stuff every time. Gotcha. Got him. Yeah, Steam or mobile. Adios, amigos. Alright, round two. Never. You will never defeat me. Get him, Speedy. Good boy. Good kitty. Good boy. No, not that switch! What's the middle switch do, then? I love how he makes the same sound when he lands as, like, not in his... Ice barrier. The past is dead. It was all just a dream. But yeah, last time we dropped like back down here, but now Ozzy's not here. Being overpowered by the cuteness of Speedy, it's uh, 
Easy trap to fall into. Well, I mean, I guess we can do the Tyranno Lair. We have enough time to do that. I think I can do it before... Uh... Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to do the... The other stuff first. I'm not sure. In Marl's scenario. Yeah, Speedy defeated Ozzy in the end. Good kitty. Let's get Frog back in the mix here. I think we want more red mail and stuff. I think we're fine. Yeah, Ozzy Pants. It raises defense, but it makes you confused, I think. I don't know if you can couple that with, like, the amulet. And have it, like, not make you confused or whatever. Best weapon I have for Chrono at the moment. Nothing special. Vedic Blade. Well, Slasher too, I guess. Evidently. Carrie Schaefer. Yeah, we got Cat. Cat on lap. Yeah, cool gamer. I've had Speedy for quite a few years now. He's a great companion. Thomas crumpled note. Those holes. What if I jump in them on purpose? Yes. I'll start back at the beginning and... Hey, Nick, how you doing? I want to say you can steal ruby vests or something from the enemies here. Oh, yeah, this part. Chrono having himself a giggle. Well, let's get them out of the way. Get Frog on the throne, too. Croaking. Yeah, quite the heroic, too. Speedy does have a heroic, too. They're all laughing. Having a grand old time. No. Chrono must lead. Yeah, thank you. I I chose Speedy because of the show Samurai Pizza Cats. Speedy Ceviche. Why Reptite's Castle here? When Lavos came hither, this place was buried beneath the land. Yeah, I think these something down here has like good ruby stuff to steal. I forget what. Is it you? Is Megahar of a cat now? Might as well be. Yeah, ruby armor. Yeah, tune out for 15 minutes. Yeah, and this is what I miss. Yeah, Speedy's been on the camera probably for about 15 minutes. Like, I guess I did it as, like the second you left. Hey, little dog. Thank you for the goat emoji. Hope you're well. Yeah, that castle survived, yeah, being hit by Lavos from space. Yeah, those reptiles, yeah, have incredible build quality. Yeah, just push the the castle underneath the ground after Lavos burrowed into it. Uh, but then slowly push its way up over the course uh, until now. It cuts fire by 80, yeah. Doing well, little dog, thank you. Uh, no thunder here right now. Did I not actually get that treasure? I guess I didn't. Yeah, Rabo Helm. I mean, it blocks thunder attacks. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, Chrono's, uh, bringing the thunder for sure. Gigasaur still didn't get KO'd. I'm impressed. Uh, going to bed, cool gamer. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you next time. Yeah, Luminaire. Yeah, Ultima, basically. Ooh, Speedy getting in the... Sneaking in the... The middle. Oh, 
I'll let steel from everything while I'm down here. Oh, they actually absorb lightning. They evolved to absorb lightning? That's... That's not fair. Hyper Rather's a good steal. But yeah, some other nights, Speedy will be more like sleeping on my shins. Like, kind of like, his feet will be by my ankles. Frog, get about it. Yeah, Luminaire is, uh... Right, yeah, it's Lightning. Ultima's non-elemental, but kinda... Kinda similar. Yeah, no, it's, it's fun. Nerd it... Nerd it up. I'm sure. Nothing in here. What if I left this? Would it still be the same thing? Would it have evolved? Probably not. What you got? Mega Elixir? That... I shouldn't have cast Luminaire there. I should steal as many of those as I can. Those are great. It's like a shelter, but for in battle. Yeah. Speedy's falling through the cracks. Okay, we good. Guys are sturdier than a oh we got a falcon hit. That'll do the damages. All of them. Ruminators, okay. Oh, and the black helmet also have mega elixirs. How'd I come up with the name Mega Harve? Back in the day, my internet handle was just Harve. Kitty. And uh but I started to do, like, this trivia on, um, game FAQs, and we ended up doing AOL Instant Messenger on it. But Harv was already taken, so the first thing that wasn't taken was Mega Harv, so that, that's just what I went with. And I just, that just kind of stayed my internet handle ever since. Christopher Dorman, right now I'm playing it on emulator, but I'm doing the uh, Super Nintendo version. I do have it on Super Nintendo. I also have the PS1 Final Fantasy Chronicles version. I even have the DS version, as well as it on Steam. But uh, today we're playing on emulator. Yeah, no problem, Christopher. Hey, thank you, Reggie. I think I just swooped by, uh, some tabs. I just keep giving them the frog, because I'm... Cause the main character's not gonna need them. Once he gets the edge, the, the rainbow, I mean.
Yeah, despite having the DS version, I've barely played it. I played the PC version, expecting it to be, um... the same as the DS, but it was missing the Coliseum. I still need to stream the DS one someday. It's kind of a long time coming. It's kind of crazy I haven't played it. This is one of my favorite games ever. Oh, I, I highly recommend Chrono Trigger. This is for, you know, from 600 to like 700. Yeah, chicken eater. Now, like, someone asked to see Speedy, and I just kind of left myself in this angle, because he's, he's not moving anywhere, and, you know, whatever. It's all snuggled up. If you're familiar with RPGs, uh, Chrono Trigger's not, like, too bad. You can't just sleepwalk through it, but, like... If you've played a few games like this, it's not too bad. If you've ever played a Final Fantasy before, I wouldn't say it's, like, especially any harder than them. Yeah, I've played, um... Crimson Echoes before. It's been years. I've also heard of one called Chrono Trigger Plus that I should probably try. I know this takes me back, but like, I want to go this way anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up streaming Elden Ring. I don't know when that'll be though, because like... Doing these vertical streams, like, Elden Ring's widescreen, so that, like, just makes it hard for me to justify it. Because if I play a game widescreen, I get, like, 20 times less viewership, so, like... I mean, that being said, I have been playing, um... Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I plan on playing Aiden Chronicles 100 Heroes when it comes out, like... I'm still playing the odd widescreen game, but, like, I gotta be a little more selective about it. I should be trying to do vertical streams and boost my, you know, numbers as much as I can. Oh, I I've heard about Chrono Trigger Plus for years now. But yeah, you might have also said it. I've done a Bloodborne stream before. That game's really fun. It was rough my first time through, though. But it was good. That was the first Soulsborne I ever played. Uh, Bloodborne. I forgot that we were in 600 AD and not 1000 AD. I thought I had to do, like, the Guardia Castle stuff first. Yeah, the parry mechanic. Definitely comes in clutch. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking for Bloodborne on PC. I guess they have some sort of exclusivity deal with Sony. It's It's been on PlayStation for a long time now. I tried to throw Ayla into the void, it didn't work. She just bounced off of it. Bounced off of nothing. Oh, is that right? I think some of the dialogue with Toma is going to be different now, because you found this place in your own. Yeah, because normally it doesn't, like... It didn't have, like, a... Uh, what do you call it? 
Like, it didn't say you were in, like, Tyranno Lair or whatever. I just... It let me... Just let me in. Like, there wasn't an identifier on the world map. Zodiac Cave. I mean, that can't be better than... Your Gloom Cave. Wait a second. Well, it must be an accessory, though. Well, who's that for? Zod Zodiac Cape? Back to work. All right, Nick. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a good shift. Go Team Venture. Well, I don't know, man. Oh, Zodiac Cape. Magic Def 10. Was it there and I just didn't see it? Or Magus just can't equip it for some reason? Okay, maybe. I don't know. Or is it only for the girls? Maybe it's only for the girl. Okay, that's probably it. Yeah, okay. Not entirely sure why, but okay. Oh, gonna go sleep, CR, drink some water, eat some food. Yeah, sounds good, chicken eater. Thanks for stopping in. See you next time. And so life, yeah, we have the same name. One lapis. Uh, I've been very slowly sipping on my mystery drink here. I'd be drinking more of it, but there's floating pieces of fruit in it, and I don't like solids mixed with my liquids. I thought it was ice for the longest time, so like I'm like, I'll wait for it to melt, but I don't think strawberry pieces are gonna melt. Meme Goose, how you doing tonight? Sapping him. Look at me with those eyes, Gigasaur. Let's grab some... Oh, that was an elixir. I thought those gave Piper others. They can die, though. I love that. I want a Hyper Rather, not an elixir. I don't want something that's better than a Hyper Rather. I'll never use it, though. So, like... If it's an elixir, I'll probably never use the hyper out there. Like, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding here, Speedy? Can I just do that? No, I can't. I thought it would let me down. Maybe those had hyper out there. I forget. I think it matters in overabundance. Yeah, by the time they're soft enough, you'll have to run to the restroom. Yeah, shortly after. Yeah, just, you know, a floating just mass in my drink. Gelatinous mass. Yeah, those had the hype around them. Yeah, let's set up some Falcon hit. better. I probably could have just dino-tailed. I love how that didn't hurt Ayla at all. Frog is squishy. Yeah. Another lapis. Not mad about that. Excuse me. Oh, Frenzy Band, yeah. Oh yeah, the counter-attacking thing. 
I'm not gonna use it, but good. Okay. I mean, I can steal another Mega Elixir, so it's fine, I guess. Lapis, that's not a Mega Elixir. How dare you. Right, yeah, good on this boss because his roar counts as an attack. Dino Tail, go! Go! I didn't remember there being rubbles down here. Well, we'll free ball it because I don't need the tech points. We get a thousand hit points. I'm not mad about it. But we're experience points. Ooh, Speedy's having some dream twitches. I don't know if you could see that. Hey, Carl. Yeah, we got Speedy out here. Someone asked to see him earlier. I'm like, you know what? We'll just. Have speedy cam be, uh, we'll have a sustained speedy cam. just the way back. I don't really want to... Well, I mean, there's a tab in here. How did that tab get in here? Who was here before me? And this new door that wasn't there, you know, 65 million-ish years ago. the charm top on you. You don't really need the gold earring. You have a lot of hit points anyway. Yeah, we'll give you the frenzy boom. Ruby, red mail. Shut up. Stupid dinosaur. I love how you can just not interact with it at all. It's like, look, you think I'm just going to let you buy? I mean, you could have just made a break for it. It's not moving. You ain't going nowhere, as they say. That shriek was actually considered an attack. Well, I mean, I guess so. Didn't expect it. Well, there's a... A red male. I mean, no, I, I get that, Reggie. Oh, Speedy's uh, stirring. Yeah, as much as we like you and your beard, we're really here for Speedy. No, I, uh, me too. Word. Drop kick. Speedy, how you feeling, brother? He's like, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go get some food to eat. So I guess I'll, I'll subject you to me again. After that. Longest speedy stream break ever. There's no doubt in my mind. 
Correct, you can't get some from that dragon. We just got red mail, I think. Oh yeah, his roar, like you said, okay, the roar. I was thinking like his fire attack was uh, what you meant, not his roar, even though you clearly typed roar. I didn't read it as roar for some reason. Speedy's like, I need a midnight snack. That's what Speedy is like right now. But if Speedy gets all snuggled back up, we can show him off again. Doesn't bother me. Matthew Price, how you doing? What's the hardest ending to get? Arguably, like, the dev room ending. Because there's one, you have to beat it, like, pretty much as soon as you get access to, like, the time gate for New Game Plus. Or there's, like, another Lavos fight that you're expected to lose, but if you win, you also get the dev ending. Outside of that, I would say it's the ending you need after you get, like, the pendant. You have to, like, charge up the pendant, then, like, immediately leave and go fight Lavos. If you don't, it's a different ending. So unless you have a guide, it's a hard one to find on your own. Yeah, no worries, Carlos, if you have to go to sleep. No harm in that. And I'll probably be... shoving off before long myself. Maybe I do have time, though, to do the... Marl's quest. I thought this whole dungeon was going to take way longer down here. Pretty big. This rainbow shell can eat. Yes, Ayla, you can eat that shell. You know this thing's heavy if Ayla, of all people, can't carry it. Heavy it be. Let's seek the king's council. Yeah, remember he gives Speedy plenty of chin scratches, of course. Just let us seek the king's counsel. Let us. Yeah, just beat the Rust Tyranno. Hey, Andrew Payette, welcome to the chat. I remember getting this, hey, this video game for Christmas as a kid. Oh yeah, it was best. I uh, what's Chrono doing? I actually can't remember if uh, I got this for like my birthday or for Christmas. Chrono, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but like we need you to chill. You're always welcome here. What can I do for you? <laughs> How did I make Chrono do this? I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. We ask us. I'm breaking Chrono trigger again. We ask us. A uh, we asketh a favor. I get it. You want me to keep that huge cell shell safe here until the next century, right? I ask for the sake of Mega. Please carry out the request. I oh, you're from Toronto? I'm over in New Brunswick. Fellow Canadian. Uh, I didn't see it was bugging. A bit. Shall obtain the shell and store it in the castle as a national treasure. Night, Captain. Yes, Majesty. Go and obtain the rainbow shell. Bring it back in one piece. At once, sire. Why is Chrono running in place? Thanks to thee, from one so humble. He's done now. Thank again, you deserve the title, Knight. Waste not such precious words on me, thine king. Where's my... There we go. Where's my airboat? It's right here. I mean, I guess do this now. Get Chrono's best weapon, might as well. It's not gonna take that long. I thought this was gonna take way longer. Save it again. Probably need Marl. I forget. Should 
shortly. King ordered that the court be locked until the trial's over. Yeah, random lettuce. I mean, random lettuce is best lettuce. Same thing on the left. Were there some stairs over there? King ordered the court be locked until the trial's over. Treasury, no entry permitted. Except these evil, clearly evil snake things that are here. They're allowed. Right, yeah. Be sure to choose the three prism helms. Yeah, because you can get three dresses from Zeal. Yes, definitely. No entry allowed. Let me throw. Gold stud or prism spectacles. Right now I'm spamming the gold stud. I might put the prism specs on someone else, but I haven't decided yet. Have you heard of the rainbow shell? I too had no idea until I found this. It's an ancestral will. It says unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the millennial fair. What are you talking about? We have no family heirlooms here. So this is a forgery? Why does the defendant deny the people a glimpse of the rainbow shell? Because he no longer has it. He sold the heirloom for cash. Witness, please. What is it, Nadia? We are conducting a trial here. Father? Nadia! The Chancellor is trying to frame me. He hurls insults. Confirm your innocence with proof. Proof? Yes, if he hasn't sold the heirloom, it should be in the castle. If I had to choose one green to eat and could never eat another green other than this green, what green would I pick? Probably broccoli. It's probably my favorite green since being an, uh, since becoming an adult. Getting Dream Seeker. Yeah, I do know a lot. Yeah, about the game, despite not having played it long ago. I got the item like the Green Dream from uh, saving uh, Luca's mother. Is the what's the is the Dream Seeker something different? It's not ringing a bell for me. He hasn't sold the heirloom. It should be in the castle. Oh, is, or is that the... No, never mind. Show me the rainbow shell and I'll accept its innocence. Hehe. <laughs> Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them. No entry allowed. Let me throw! Princess, not even you may enter. It always kind of bothered me a little bit. We never get to fight these 1000 AD Guardia soldiers. Take Rainbow Shell. Save Marl's father. Why wouldn't the king know about a family heirloom that's been in the family for 400 years? Yeah, that's pretty... Uh, pretty irresponsible of the king. What are you saying? It's a lie. There is no hero. Refresh my memory. What's the Dream Seeker? Remember, Marl. We ask the old king... We ask old king save shell. Rainbow shell here now. Hey, the Fasans. Welcome to the chat. 100th viewer. Hey, welcome aboard. Enjoy your stay for some Chrono Trigger action. Rainbow shell we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago is still here. It's probably in the basement. Probably, I don't know, I'm not that sure, but probably, you know, it's a good chance. If I was my dad, that's where I would have put it. Ouch, a rat bit me. There's ants no longer blocking the way. Dumb. The boss is itching to avenge the grudge that's been in the family for 13 generations. Dumber. I'm gonna frame the king, Gaha. A broccoli salad would taste if you replace the lettuce in a salad with broccoli. Probably tastes like broccoli. No, I would like it just fine. So there is a plot. Let's hurry. Yeah, and then we have the... The fancy effect. I confess, I bought it from the king. He said he needed the cash. Liar, I've never even seen you before. Order in the court. Was I convincing? Perfect. Screaming next to the judge. Was I convincing? Oh, 
Oh, the Dream Seeker is the... That, that weapon's not in this version. That's the, um... If you're playing the mobile port or the... The Dream... The, um... <clears throat> the DS version, I think the Dream Seeker is in those. But in this one, you can only get up to the rainbow. Yeah, it's like, what, a 90% crit rate or something? 80 or 90, I think. It is better in the rainbow, but it's not in this version I'm playing. Yeah, we're gonna get the rainbow one here in a moment. That's what we're shooting for right here, right now. Some prism helms while we're at it. I don't usually eat a lot of salad, but usually like either Caesar dressing or ranch. Kylie Kennedy, yes. <clears throat> Poop. The Sheep King, how you doing? Leon, uh, this isn't Dragon Ball, but the same artist did the, uh, the, you know, all the art for it. Christina Johnson. You're a fan of the British Broadcasting, uh, Corporation? Yeah, no, it's fine, Majub, no worries. Yeah, I assumed it was the DS version. No worries. The rainbow shell. Something here, paper here. Paper. Tomorrow. I know you're a really big fan of British broadcasting, uh, but stop spamming. Same for you. Get out of here. Hey, Vix, how you doing tonight? To Marl, dearest Marl, I know things are tough between you and your father, but nothing can break your bond of blood, neither words of anger nor great distances. Someday, when you have children, you'll understand. A special bond is part of a family tree which links us together. Queen Guardia 21. Queen. Yeah, no worries, Ninja. It's all good. Nothing major, just a little spamming. Ill-natured spamming. No problem. Dixon, welcome to the chat. How are you? Asas? Uh, I am not KO Ken, no. Yeah. Yeah, Toriyama has created a lot of stuff. Yeah, doing well, Vix. Thanks for asking. Ayla knew about leaving nest. Time passed. Grow big. Leave nest. Aelin leave nest. Dactyl leave nest too. Marl leave too. Big change. Love the hair. Hey, thank you, thank you. Leave nest, have baby. Baby grow big. Leave nest too. Nuclear lover, how you doing tonight? Father, hang in there. We're coming. We got one prism shard, yeah. Hey, thanks, Reggie. <clears throat> Sure you're ready to leave Nest? Not too big yet. Members of the jury, if he's guilty, stand to the left. If he's innocent, to the right. Doing nice. Good, good. I'm doing well. Thank you. Guilty. They're all just like, you're guilty. Chancellor and his rigged... ...court... ...proceedings. So let's save Marl's father and get the best weapon in the game for doing so. 
Kristen Robinson, yeah, Super Saiyan 4 type haircut. I mean, sorta, yeah. I'm dressed up like the main character of this game, except I have a beard and he doesn't yet. Yeah, haste is a good move. You can stay conscious for 20 seconds after decapitation. Wonder if time, like, stands still for you while you're at it. You won't reconsider? No, princess. Hey, Skell Lesbian, how you doing tonight? Gay Skeleton approves this outfit. Hey, thank you. Skell Lesbian, stamp of, appro uh, stamp of approval. Aiden Gaming, welcome to the chat. This game's called Chrono Trigger. It came out on Super Nintendo in 1995. There is one way, it's a bit rough, but just follow me. The verdict is in. Guilty. Oh, there's actually one that said innocent. Makes it more believable. The Guardia line ends here. This domain shall be mine. Take him away. Wait. Who is it? Perfy, hey, never beat Chrono Trigger. Always got stuck on the part where you have to catch the rat. Oh, yeah. The password in the future. Yeah, that could be rough. Like, a spe like you gotta... You know, put in the password, but if you're playing on an emulator, like, you have to set, like, two keys to be one key, or else it just, like, doesn't register. Alright, Carlos, thanks for stopping in. You have yourself a good sleep, and hope you feel better tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm making a hell of an entrance. Jumping through the stained glass, she's just, just riddled with cuts everywhere. Lacerated from asshole to appetite, as they say. Nadia. Princess, control yourself. You're too late. The king has been found guilty. Even kings are subject to our laws. Yeah, hoping for the best. Yeah, replay it on Steam. There you go. No, this was a setup. Nonsense. The king's a crook. The treasure's right here. Impossible. Your little scheme is over, Chancellor. Ugh. Huh? It's not the plot you think. I'm here to avenge my ancestors. Super Ultra Presto Transformo. I love how they go back to the whole, like, yeah, I'm also Yakra. I'm Yakra's descendant. It's like, of course you are. Should have realized it from the beginning. Yakra 13. Final Yakra 13. I, mean, I guess tr uh, Twin Charm. Well, never mind. We'll just... No, we're gonna Twin Charm it. Because I want to. Yeah, Slug has a white male for some reason. Keeping it for uh, must that must be a Yakra family heirloom. Final kick. Do it for fun. Yeah, trick us once, Yakra. Shame on us. Trick us for thirteen generations. Yeah, shame on you. I suppose you're right. The only part of the mirror you can lick is your tongue. Wise words. I was absolutely sure Dream Seeker was the original name for the Nintendo system to drop after the Super Nintendo. Oh, DS. I mean, Nintendo's big on having all sorts of, like, project names for stuff. Like, code project names. If 
if only you were wearing that white mail you were carrying, you wouldn't... You would be getting healed by these attacks I'm doing. Girls, stop being confused. Now's not the time for them. I have the NES, DS, and the 3DS app, but working on getting the Super Nintendo. Oh, right on. It's all... Favorite? One of my favorite systems, the, you know, good old Super Nintendo. That has the smart. Yeah. Heard about it from the ancestors, oh, did you know? From your aunt, Setzer? Sester? Yakra Sester 12? N64 is a good uh, multiplayer system. The ancestors, ant sisters, yeah, same difference. Cube toss, go. Oh damn it, Ayla's still confused all the way. Left. We'll do Ice Sword too then. Call an audible. Needle spin version 13. Every phone is foldable, foldable, yeah, at least one. Can't guarantee how many times before it'll stop working, but yeah, you could definitely fold uh, most phones once. Yeah, SNES is one of the best for sure. Is the reason people are still making games that have the SNES style to this day. Video gaming's like kind of an interesting medium in that respect, because like... I guess it just depends when you grew up, but like, I feel like video games don't age out the same way as, like, a movie might. But, I mean, we still, like, cherish, you know, movies from, like, the 80s or whatever, so... Kind of the same difference, I suppose. Defeated? What do you mean, defeated again? We never defeated you before, Yakra 13. Yeah, surgery can be described as stabbing someone to life. Hey, JS, yeah, Chrono Trigger is awesome. Still is. Oh, Dragon Ball Legends? Oh, mobile game written by Toriyama. Oh. Oh, Shala. Is it any good? Playing a mobile game wouldn't be the worst... Uh, thing for, like, this format. I was actually thinking the other day, I'm a little annoyed how, like... Well, I mean, I was disappointed when Final Fantasy Record Keeper, like, went out of commission, but, like... If Final Fantasy Record Keeper was still live, I would have done a live stream of it by now in this format. Uh, but I didn't. I got Janimba. Hella fun. Dragon Ball Legend. Oh, terrible for PvP. Okay. Oh, right on. I actually started playing Earthbound 2. Nice. And got to the third town. Hey, I'm glad you're liking it, JS. But great for story, gotcha. Don't say it, I was wrong to be so stubborn. No, I didn't even think about how you felt. Uh, I know in my heart, but the words just came out wrong. I too have that problem. I thought you left me, but realized it was I who abandoned you. Damn it. I punched my microphone because I was scratching my nose. A meta for each season. I'm here now. I'll talk about everything that's happened, about Mega, Mother, and... Your mother, how sad. It's taken me so long to understand what Eliza meant with her last words. Someday when Nadia grows up, she'll bring her beloved to meet you. Welcome him warmly. It'll be a day you remember forever. You heard her last words? Of course, you were so young. You ran around saying, Daddy, it's fun having all my favorite people here. Seeing you so happy, she felt reassured, and she left us quite peacefully. So that's how it was. Yes, why?
I used to call you daddy. You did. I'm sorry, daddy. I'm really sorry for doubting you. Yeah, this is the only wholesome stream. Hey, thanks, JP Flaw. I hear there's a lot of, like, tarot card readers on short streams for some reason. Why do you exit the castle, but you be careful now. You take care of her. You know, worry. Ayla, protect Marl. My turn now. Hey, Melchior. Can't let you run the whole show. Let me make some weapons from the rainbow shell. Finally time for me to do something. Watch and learn. Prism Helms, go. Guess we gotta go to the... Down... Wait. Yeah, down here. We still gotta save the real... Cha well, I guess we don't have to, but like... Save the real Chancellor still. This is a very... This is a very rare. As armor, it deflects magic. Make you one prism dress, or I can make three less effective helms. I want the helms. We can steal prism dresses later. I'm sure. Alright, you just wait there. Yeah, nice typo. Finished, off you go now. Got three prism helms. Yeah, defense plus nine, lock stas is well M def plus nine, but still. No complaints here. I mean if it keeps me from losing my status. Well why'd I give that to You can wear the Aussie pants tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Eh. Yeah. Ah, Sunstone. I'll create an alloy out of it. Finished. Off you go now. Got one prism specs. Hey, I don't think that's the last of my bag of tricks. You know, here's this little thing called the best weapon in the game. Finished. Off you go now. Got one rainbow. Finally feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Yeah, 70% crit rate, attack goes up. I've got the slasher too, so one, two, three, what, 36 more attack? Yes, please. Your chrono's a house now. Well, I mean, I guess let's save the Chancellor. Yeah, 255 am going to bed. Yeah, see ya, Reggie. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you feel better. I'll catch you next time. Diego, how you doing? How goes the game? I already forgot the name. Chrono Trigger? It's going well. We just got Chrono's best weapon called the Rainbow. We also got him a good helmet. It's a pretty good accessory we got too. I don't know if I'm going to use it just yet or not. Because I like spamming Luminaire for cheap. That handles most situations, but like for boss fights, Prism Specs I think would be advised. Good, glad. Glad to hear it, Reggie. Hyper other. It's around here somewhere, I forget its exact location. So this Chancellor's been locked up in a box for like, months. How long has the story been going on for? Yeah, later, Reggie. How you doing, Cookie? You hoard all the best items like me? Oh yeah, until the end of the game, or do you have fun? I've been doing better this playthrough, actually, using, like, others. Doesn't really look like it right now, but I have been using mid-others, like, just as I go along. Normally I hoard them, but... 
I've been a little better about using them. Oh, are there Mega Elixirs in the bedrooms? I'll check that out, though. I didn't even recall that. It's locked. Oh, right, that's why, that's what was glowing in the, the courtroom. We got one Yakra key. They repaired that stained glass window so fast. And what are these guys doing still sitting here? Like, don't they have anything better to do than just sit there? Oh, yeah, I will, Reggie. Speedy will get lots of love. If I consider moving the game screen down, you know this YouTube interface co covers the Does it really? So the YouTube interface covers me and some of the games still? Finally, that beast keeping me locked up in here. Princess Nadia, your friends, I presume. Wait, I don't have time for this. I must prepare for the Moonlight Parade. Yeah, I wasn't aware that my setup was being obstructed by the YouTube interface at all. That's why I'm on the bottom. Oh, the channel name and viewer count is at the top. Okay, well, I can at least just... For example, do... You know, like that. That's great to hear. Whole other there. We'll look at the other one. I don't know, like, the vertical live streaming thing is sort of a no-win situation. Like, on desktop, it doesn't matter. Half the time, it matters on, uh, mobile. I appreciate the feedback. I just have to think about it. Yeah, Mega Elixir there. It's no game now. What do you mean it's no game? It's a, ga it's a game. Princess, let's start with P- Oh, P-E. Uh, Prive, uh, Biz Ed. Now we must start with Discipline. Cloud McCloud, welcome to the chat. Just came across your live Chrono Triggers. You had an all-time favorite game, Mo. <clears throat> I can't find a copy on PS1. What platform are you using? I'm playing on emulator right now, but, like, I prefer to play it on Super Nintendo. Although I hear the DS one is pretty good. It has the most content. Moonlight Parade, you shall receive a lovely present from me. I want to sleep in the bed. Pierre, the lawyer, planning the millennial prey with the chancellor. It's kind of clever how you're not allowed back here. Because, I mean, that blew up before and you walked over the Chancellors, but now it's like, no, no, you just can't go this way. This must have been an add-on in the past, you know, since we were there, you know, in 600. Is that everything? There might be everything in here. I've heard of Darkest Dungeon. I've never played it, though. Oh, yeah, I was just here. What's left? We can still do, like, the Geno Dome area. There is, you know, like, the, the whole Kairos, you know, the Masamune thing. Maybe one other thing, and then on top of doing the Black Omen three times. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the, the Lost Sanctum. I haven't tried the Coliseum, but, like, it seems like you can get some good stuff from it, at least. Okay, Darkest Dungeon is great. First one, yeah, never played two. 
Sup, Cookie. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open to you. Yes. Yeah, in the future, the Geno Dome. Yeah, the Cyrus thing. Yeah, okay. So just that, and then the Black Omen three times, and getting all 11 cats. That'll be two, that'll be two streams for sure. The Black Omen to do three times is a bit of a lengthy endeavor, if I remember right. Little Einstein Eddie, how you doing tonight? Yeah, Lost Sanctum gave me PTSD. It just feels like a shoddily put together, like, afterthought thing. You're like, we want to give this an extra dungeon, but we don't want to put any thought into it at all. I mean, I guess I don't hate that it exists, but like, at the same time, it didn't really need to. All right, folks. Hey, Ender's channel, welcome back. Oh, Kumagi, what so what's the song that's playing? It's from the end of time in Chrono Trigger. I forget if it has a different name than just, like, end of time. But we just hit the, uh... You know, we just... We're in between missions right now. I'm gonna end the stream here. I'm gonna be back again tomorrow, though, to play even more Chrono Trigger. I'll be back on for another, you know, five, six hour Chrono Trigger stream, so... If you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe and... Join the stream again tomorrow. Don't forget the lard, folks. Hope to see you then for some more Chrono Trigger. See how much more we can get done. Maybe the missions and a Black Omen trip or two. Maybe we can get a couple of cats. But we won't know until next time, so uh, catch you then.